All right. Good even afternoon. Oh, it is afternoon, isn't it? <laughs> hey, everybody. Quacklings and all. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the stream. My name is Nanashi, your favorite Quokka chef. And we are cooking some Yu-Gi-Oh today. We're getting some uh, decks in. We created another deck recently, actually. Um, kind of in lieu of what happened the previous stream. <laughs> um, but before we get into that, how y'all doing? Everyone doing well? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday afternoon, evening, or Monday morning, depending where you are in the world at the moment. All right, so um, before we get into the Yu-Gi-Oh talk, let's talk about what's happening recently. So um, I don't know if any of you follow Final Fantasy XIV, but uh, Yoshi P, the producer of XIV and uh, Final Fantasy XVI, finally added a release date to Dawn Trail, and I'm super excited to play it. I can't wait for the new jobs, pick the Mancer Viper, um, and I'm really hoping that I get to start streaming it once it comes out. Actually, the, there is a bit of a problem at, at that um, regard, though, right now. Um, I, I need to... I have a main character um, that I like using kind of like as a relaxed character. I don't really plan to stream on that one. So I'm trying to build up an alternate character so that I can stream with you all. And it'd be kind of fun to do that, too, at some point. So um, bear with me for a little bit. That's another project I have rolling on the side here. Um, among other things, I don't think very much has happened since we last talked. So <laughs> let's keep things fun. Let's keep things moving. And then let's try to uh, clear another, or not even another. We need to clear the first stage of this Duelist Cup first so we can even continue in the second stage. Um, I'm looking at the time here right now. Uh, in fact, let's bring you over to the game screen. Okay, so looking at this notification here, it says March 24th, 7.59. Um, assuming that's Pacific time, which is where we're streaming from, that is in three and uh, roughly four hours. So we have four hours to hit Duelist level 20 and make it to the second stage and hopefully just get all these rewards. I'm, I'm kind of here just mostly for the rewards, but it's been fun dueling um, pretty much, I guess, what is top tier at the moment in the OCG, because I think this, I think Master Duel takes from the OCG, right? Not the TCG analyst. So it's been pretty interesting. It's been pretty fun. Um... What else? Oh, so yes. I made a new deck. Uh, several, actually. Insects Gross is another um, thing we're cooking here, but uh, there's still, I have to look at support and still, uh, other things still. But in, in any case, it's supposed to be a mill deck. It's going to hopefully pop up at some point. That's in addition to the Exodia deck that we still need to build, but things for later. Um, so, previously, in our previous uh, stream, we made the most annoying deck ever, which is a combination of, I guess, the most annoying cards I could think of in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> to try to piss off and potentially win against the opponent. Now, surprisingly enough, when we were playing this deck <laughs> in the Duelist Cup, it actually got some success. Like, we were getting wins where, you, where we really shouldn't be. Chain energy was pretty critical in some of those uh, games. Just let they have to pay 500 each time they want normal, special, or activate anything from their hand, which is pretty neat. Um, but then I was thinking to myself, how do we make this more efficient and effective? So I made a new version of the deck called Burning Time. It's a legit burning deck, I think, is the best way to put it. Um. These are cards I, I've seen on different decks across the meta recently. Um, pretty nasty stuff. I've run into some weird issues of this with this deck too. Um, strangely enough, there's this uh, hand trap called Gore Ghost Mourner. 
Mor Mourner. <laughs> Gosh. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. It's kind of like a uh, Ash Blossom. But when you use it, you negate the effects of one face-up monster that just got special summoned. And um, if it happens to leave the field, it takes damage equal to its original attack. So the weird thing I've had this happen with this is I assume this and Ring of Destruction would work, which is where we target one face-up monster your opponent controls, whose attack is less than or equal to their LP, destroy it, and then they take damage equal to their original attack. So... I think I was facing a, I think it was a tier limits deck. I, I was facing a tier limits deck and I used that combo on what I assumed was one of their boss monsters. I didn't see any negating effects on the field, but for some reason it only triggered the first part of the effect, which was the original attack and not the secondary effect of my ghost mourner, which is um, when that monster leaves the field this turn, um, the controller takes damage equal to its original attack. So I don't know if there's some sort of negate or maybe there's something weird with that combination because I, I'm pretty sure I've had that combination work before. But um, maybe it might have been the circumstance of the board too. I don't know. But that is a pretty fun combo that we've had work so far. We have generally annoying things in here too, such as Ceasefire, Just Desserts, Magic Cylinder, my favorite. Um, funny enough, I considered putting a marshmallow or two in there, but I think they were just replaced with lava golems because getting the tribute your opponent's monsters is pretty useful. Um, as opposed to just having one defense shield that can probably get, get blown up by the monsters of your opponent too. So either way, um, this deck has seen a lot more success than I thought it would. So that is what we're going to start with today. Let's jump into the Duelist Cup. As you can see, Duelist 15, almost to max. Uh, five more levels, but I honestly don't know how many games that would be <laughs> until we reach max. But we have four hours to do it. So let's go team and let's see if we can get some wins today. But yeah, in the meantime, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well this lovely uh, Sunday afternoon. Not evening, actually, thinking about it. We usually stream at the, in the evening now after uh, work, so I so kind of subconsciously subconsciously said evening earlier. It's getting there. It's a few more hours before evening, but I hope today's going well so far. Okay, let's see what we get here. Ooh, some maxis. Okay. That's going to help if they suddenly try to floodgate us. Or not floodgate, but... <laughs> if the dam breaks and everything just gets released onto my face, I guess the maxi will help. Oh, they're setting! That t You know what? Actually, every single time I've run into a set start... Four set. Okay, maybe I might be wrong. <laughs> that looks like my start. That doesn't seem right. Ooh, lava golem again. We don't, we don't want that so early. You play chain energy, start draining them. I think this might be another burn deck. It feels like it would be another burn deck if they're setting that many. But the other case I was gonna say is it's probably a tier. I should have set that first before playing that. I forgot it affects me too. <laughs> Oopsies. That's fine. Um, I guess we're showing the other opponent by example right so the only other case i've seen like this kind of setup start is i think tier limits because they have like those tier tournament cards that like flip to add cards into the deck oh what is this okay this is sus as hell <laughs> i think he's cooking uh some battle damage too <laughs> Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Either he has a really bad hand or... <laughs> Wait, I think we're just waiting for each other to do something. Oh, no. When two burn decks meet each other in the Master Cup. <laughs> okay, well, this is awkward. I Maybe I should have run that... Uh... Wave motion cannon. 
Because right now it would be pretty useful. Let's see. Was the Ring of Destruction chained to or later in the chain of Ghost Mourner? Uh, first off, welcome to the stream, Trunks. Secondly... That was a good question. Does the order matter? I guess that might actually matter, right? Uh, well, actually, hold on. I don't think it was the same chain. I activated the Ghost Mourner first, I believe. Oh, no, it's another burn deck. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, no. Um, I, re I, I, re I played the Ghost Mourner first. And then um, later in the turn, I activated the Ring of Destruction. So I think it should have worked as normal. But again, I, I, I might have saved that game. I have to check if I can pull it up and, and see. But I'm pretty sure I played it first earlier in the turn, and then later I played the Ring of Destruction. Oh, it's a double burn deck. What are we going to do? <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh, he's going to win because he has the... Uh... Oh, no, he has it too. He has the Grave Diggers Trap Hole too. No! <laughs> I'm gonna let him, you know what? I'm just gonna let him win. <laughs> I don't have the hand for this. We're both playing the same deck. Uh, is, am I gonna get, like, Dimension Walled? I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, I took, he took the 500. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. I didn't think I'd run into another burn deck <laughs> this late in the cup, but here we are. It's the same exact deck, I'm pretty sure. So, we're at, this was actually I was gonna say this is the downside I've had so far playing this deck is that it's very how would I put it? It's very reactive. This deck is very reactive. Um, burn. So. You want to go first to set everything, but like if your opponent doesn't really attack, like in the case what we're doing right now, we're just going to sit here forever until we get our burn cards. <laughs> and it's really awkward. Actually, the chain energy is actually killing me more than it's killing him at the moment. I'm, I think I'm just going to try to burn myself out. I don't really have a play that's not countering battle damage. Usually, so. <laughs> Same deck. Oh, man. Okay, well. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to surrender. I refuse to surrender. <laughs> it's the same deck, though. What are we going to do? Wow, first duel of the day, and we happen to have a mirror match of burn. That's so funny. Wait, can I play my ring? No, it's opponent's control. No! <laughs> There's the justice. <laughs> yeah, same deck. That's so funny, though. Oh, I got an achievement. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's try dueling somebody that isn't the same exact deck as us because at that point it's kind of, kind of silly, right? <laughs> you know what? Actually, before we get to the later stages of the Duelist Cup, I think I'm going to switch over to my Stardust Duck. Duck? It's a duck. <laughs> Stardust Deck again. To see if we can get one game where we can summon everything. Because why not, you know? So, but, uh, to, yeah. To answer your earlier question, Trunks, I'm... I'm, like, 90% sure I... I used the uh, the Ghost Mourner first. Then later in the turn, I, um... Ring of Destruction. Not, not in the same chain. So... I don't know why I would have done the first um, the first the, the destruction um 
damage first and not the doubling effect of the Ghost Mourner, which is, again, kind of weird, but it's what it is. Uh, why are we waiting? Or is he trying to get in the game? Okay, that's probably why. Or maybe he has something. Oh, he... Okay. <laughs> game two. Stardust one. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, that's so funny, though. Like, out of... Like, from stage 10 to 15, I don't think I've had any levers. But then suddenly, when I start streaming, <laughs> we get levers, we get mirror matches of a really obscure deck. What is happening? Try again. You know what? That's just one game closer to uh, Duel 20, right? So, we'll take it. Young Jamoko, Onagashimasu, let's duel our best. Okay. My soul, my my base Stardust Dragon, let's do this. Oh, he drew the Converging World Dragon. Okay. That's a bit early for that, isn't it? Uh, are we about to get ashed? Probably. Let's find out. Get a drop. Synchron. Oh, nothing. Or there could be a Nibiru in there. That'd be pretty nasty. Okay, well, let's go for it. We'll see. Oh, let's tune it up, friends. Got Junk Speeder going. And we're going to summon everything, and then... Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Game three, let's go <laughs> victory. Uh, I guess they didn't. They didn't really want to wait through the shenanigans of the speeder. <laughs> well, shoot. Okay. Someone was joking last stream, saying that like whenever I stream Yu-Gi-Oh, people seem to tend to surrender for some reason, and they jo they joke like I'm ddosing them. That is absolutely not happening, and I also think it's weird that it. For some reason, whenever I stream Yu-Gi-Oh, he will just surrender. <laughs> okay, let's see about this time. This time, both of us are trying to go for a, a duelist level here, so we'll see. Oh, not the best starting hand. We got two of our, um, our level ones in our hand. We don't want that. Okay, let's just go for Stardust. Oh no, it's a maxi. That's okay though, I'm not expecting to do very much, honestly. <laughs> this first hand. Mmm. Normally, I'd take a Riven Light, but I think we want the Illumination. So we're going to drop the Trail. Yeah, I don't think we can do very much after this, though. So we're just going to set this, this, and then end our turn. This is unlucky. We got our Stardust Worm and our Omni Dragon Brotar in our hand. First thing, first thing going. That's kind of uh, not even really, or it's, it's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> we don't want that in our hand, and there's only one of in the deck for both of them. But you know what? He could have bricked too, which is you know what at this dual level probably very unlikely, but. Gonna look, we're gonna see. Oh, he ended this turn. What's he cooking? Ooh, reinforcement. That will be helpful. Mm. Let's try recoiling for it. He's probably gonna... 
Oh, he's not going to negate it. Okay. Um, We could get the converter to... To search later if we draw a tutor. You know what? That's probably the smarter play. We don't have anything to really call with uh, Junk Synchron at the moment. So let's get converter out here. Uh oh, another Maxi. You know, I'm gonna all that. I think he is playing it just because he doesn't have anything to play at the moment. Because he only set one. That's my reasoning, I think. I Hopefully, it's not the case where I'm about to get royally screwed by, <laughs> by Synchro Summoning everything. Okay, this is going to give us a draw. That's going to be nice. Converter will let us go into Synchron again. Ooh, arrive. Okay. I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna put Converging Wolf Dragon on top. And this should get us into Baron at least. Not a bad start. All things considered. Uh we're gonna activate this to draw it. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> he must have had a bad hand. Well, that's nuts. <laughs> we're moving up, lads. <laughs> Not in the ways we'd expect, but we're moving up. He must have... Uh, he must have had a dead draw, too, though. Okay, level 16. Sweet. Four more. Oh, you know what? We have those tickets, don't we? Can we do a quick break and open those? Uh, you know what? We'll do it later, actually. We'll do it later. Um, not how I was expecting. What is it? The first 30 minutes of my stream going. We got two surrenders, one mirror match of burn, and a dead draw. <laughs> oh, I'm going first. Okay. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Dude! <laughs> Acceleration! Okay, let's see. So, not exactly the best starting hand again, but let's see if we can tune anything. What we have we have a Stardust Trails, a Wheel Synchron. I'm gonna go for the Salt Synchron, actually, I think. We get special summon it, normal summon trail. Oh, Warish! That's fine. We can go for a quick six. Got us charge. Get a li little bit of a draw and uh, start a trail. Get a little bit of a token coming up here. Reinforce. Um, let's reinforce. We're going to feed our graveyard a bit here by using Junk Converter. Add the Junk Synchron. That's going to be important for later. Um, can I make 10? Let's see. Right now we have 7. We have a level 3 tuner. Oh, we do. Ah, YOLO. <laughs> Let's go for it. We might as well make a Baron so we have something to work with to start, unless we get, like, sacked by something in a minute here. 
Okay. That'll do the start, I think. Let's see what they got. So something I'm actually trying to learn as well is when I run into top two decks like Tier Elements, uh, Deal Bill Star, I'm trying to figure out what the best things to negate is because I am still not really aware of what the critical cards are in those type of decks. Snake Eyes, I think I have an idea of what it is. I think it's the um, it's the blue one. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Oh, photons. Okay. Let's see what they do with this. Um, but yes, Snake Eyes, they have, um, let me see if I can look it up. Snake Eyes Engine, I guess is what it's called. I think it was Ash. Was it Ash? It might have been Ash. Um, oh, hello. Let's see. Photon Orbital, Target... Gains and yeah, we're gonna have to negate that. Otherwise, I think he's flushing it out though. Because up oh, there's the droplet. Okay. So I'm not in extreme danger yet, but this is also this could also be kind of bad. Okay, he's gonna run over my Baron then. In that case. But we do have options still. Let me think here, though. We go in the speeder. We can't go in the six anymore because of the um our charge warriors in the graveyard. I think we can play around with the levels though to see if we can move our way up against the ladder. What did he add? That was a galaxy summon. Oh, you get special summon another galaxy. Okay, neat. Let's see. Let's plan out our attack. So we're going to go for speeder, probably. Summon all our tuners. I do have the converging in my hand. Oh, is he going to exceed? He does have level eights. That's kind of their whole stick, isn't it? I think. For galaxy eyes. Though I think the smarter move for him would be just to attack first and then do that at the end. Get more damage out. Maybe. I could be wrong. No, no. There's more damage there. 4,000 now. Okay, gonna get a big boost. There we go. And then the 16. Man, we keep drawing Converging Will's Dragon. We don't exactly want this in our hand. <laughs> okay, but it's fine. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's draw. <gasps> Pot of Avarice. Okay, we need that. Okay, that's perfect, actually. We can use this to put back our um, our charge warrior and Baron. Uh, we don't need. Yeah, that should do. In hindsight, actually, no shoot. I should have kept the wheel in there. That's all. It's okay. Hey, it's the card. On your mark, get set, duel. Okay, we're going to get a carrier. Yeah, that's good. That's our play. Summon carrier. And Junk Synchron. Not going to use that effect. Okay. Let me show you my Stardust Soul. Junk Speeder. Okay, Junk Speeder is going to go into all our lovely tuners. If he has any burial, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> okay, 
you. There's our arriving light. So the, the nice thing about arriving light is we can actually use um, we can use that to put the converging wheels dragon back on top of our deck as opposed to our hand, which is good. Uh, we're going to draw and also add a junk synchron back to our hand. Another draw. Woo. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're going to go for Stardust next. And then into Crimson. Let's go. I, I need to make a Signer's deck for 5Ds. That'd be so much fun. That goes into, like, shooting Quasar. That's going to be another project, I think. Okay, Synchro World World in our hand. We're going to activate it. We're also going to activate... It's not yet, actually. We're going to do our Wheel Synchron. Bring out our Junk Synchron. Junk Synchron's going to take our Jet Synchron. Now we can play Arrive in Light. And we're going to put this on top of our deck. Okay, go into Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. We're going to climb the ladder, guys. Uh, we can arrive in light now and not activate this because we don't want to break the chain. Draw a card into our wheels. Nice. Okay, it's coming, at, it's coming together, y'all. Play Wills, special summon Broatar. Broatar is going to give us Doppel Warrior through Junk Synchron. Nice. The stars are converging, my friends. Now, actually, the funny thing is, I don't know if I can run over the 4,000, though. <laughs> Ironically enough. Actually, no, wait, I think Majestic can. Oh, let's go. Okay, Majestic's out. Um, We're going to activate the effect of our revolution. That's going to let us summon Doppel Warrior. Okay, we're going to tune into Garden. I'm sorry, this turn is taking so long, but... Uh, yes, we want that. And he doesn't have any Biru, apparently, so... Add Black Guard into our hand. We don't need it, but it's nice to have just in case. Double Star Shaman. That'll get us our Black Wing Tuner back into our field. This will let us tune for five for the other Black Wing. And because we're using a Black Wing, it's going to count as a Tuner. And we're going to use his effect to bring back the OG Blackwing that we just used, so... I'm sorry, Abu. I'm sorry you have to witness all this, but... The stars are clustering together! Crimson Dragon's effect. We're going to bring out... Quasar Dragon. Okay, and then that should be pretty nice, I'd say. We could we could actually get the rest of the dragons. To, actually, wait. Hold up. We can still cook. We want Stardust. Well, actually, what's in our graveyard? You know what, let's just get Stardust. Uh, 
Um, gonna do one more. Oh, we're out of. Okay, never mind. Gonna sacrifice Rose, bring back Pixel Synchro, start us Dragon. Uh, once per turn, we can negate. This dude. Okay. Let's see. I'm probably playing this wrong. I probably could use a way to get a way to destroy this, but. The whole line's out, friends. The whole Stardust line. Oh, wait. He can still do that, can he? Oh. Uh... But I have a secondary plan. It's negated, but I can just uh, use this too. And we have an Assault Synchron. Oh, I thought we had an Assault Synchron. Okay, I guess we don't. Um, let's go, Stardust Dragons! Cosmic Blaze Quasar Dragon, go! We didn't get Blazer out, but it's okay. Woohoo! That felt good. We actually got a win with our uh, Stardust deck in high duel levels. That's pretty nice. I've seen Photons absolutely wreck me, though, so I'm kind of happy we got to do that to the <laughs> Photon deck. But, um... All right, sweet. Let's get a few more wins there. Uh, shall we go back to the burn? Let's try the burn again. I don't think, I don't think we're gonna run into another burn deck again ever. It's it was pretty rare that that happened. Excuse me, so I'm gonna take a bite of my lunch while. Uh, we're gonna go first. Hmm. Restart set, not bad. We have Mahama to protect us in some degree. We have all four life points with Mahama too, so that's gonna be nice. Hmm. Gonna max see this. <laughs> Rune Rick, I think I remember there's a lot of special summoning, so we're just gonna go ahead and just go for the maxi start. From this, we're already gonna get plus one, and that's already enough. Oh, what the heck? You're cute. What is this? Interesting. I get this distinct feeling they're going to add a lot to their hand. Ah, oh, there's the tier limits. Uh. No, I'm going to secret barrel it. I should have done it a little bit earlier, but it's fine. They probably gonna get a lot more out, but I'm just gonna go for it first. And I don't think they can activate their battle phase this turn, right? Because of the first card they played. Eh. 
Hey, it's a scareclaw. Be cute too. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, a lot of cards to his hand. This, there's a lot of search power in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. And actually, you know what? It's not even search power. It's just the same cards now that I think about it. <laughs> it's Scare Claws, Tear Laments, Snake Eyes. Going for something. Okay, let's see. Chaos Angel, nice. Hey, he got the same one as me. That, uh, there was a bonus pack recently. What's he doing? He is banishing by dimension one. Okay. Okay, so we have the same situation now, now that I think about it, though. We have a monster I want to... Well, actually, I can't Ghost Morn anymore because it's already... Uh, I already summoned, unfortunately. Ooh, hello. This card, Grave Digger's uh, Trap Hole, has been um, pretty damn efficient, if I have to say. This entire time so far, when I've been playing this deck. Uh, you know what? I'll just deserves for you. That way I can play. I should have played it, the trap trick after doing that though. Oh well, I'll take five. Misplays. <laughs> okay, this time I'm ready though. I can. Okay, will that secondary effect work though? It's like say he, he has less than the amount. Yeah, attack with five hundred. Okay. Hmm. Just have some sort of negate effect. I don't think so. I think it's fine. I'm going to take a bunch too, but uh should be okay. If he has a hand trap, I actually have a I have an answer for that too. So this should be pretty good to see. Let's see, 2,000 big ouchies to both of us. Okay, so far, we're good, I think. Oh, useful too. Um, I'm gonna play the trap trick now, I guess. Let's switch out for a a ceasefire. That should do. Okay. One, two, three, four. If I took the secret bear, I don't think that would have done anything either, though. It would have been five times 200. That's a thousand. Not enough. Are we going straight for the battle phase? He's wary. But now I can play this, I guess. While burning myself to death. <laughs> go. Now I have something to defend against though with the scare claw. Oh, he's gonna do something. 
Oh no, I have a ceasefire. I'm, I'm good. That should count mine, and I assume the the scare claw counts as one too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nice. I almost burnt myself to death there. <laughs> Got to be careful. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So we're still climbing. I don't think we're definite. It definitely seems like we need more games to at least get it. Oh, there you go. Do a level opportunity. You need a bit more. Are they going second? I'm going second. Okay. Well, that usually means bad things. If they get their entire field out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, but I do have a Lava Golem. That will help with uh, clearing their field if they need to. What well, was that? Dinosaur? Miscellaneous Saurus. <laughs> That's a good name. I haven't seen dinosaurs in a while. This, is, this should be interesting. Okay, what's happening here? I just see big dinosaurs. You see excavating an archaeologist. You know, I I I'm firmly I firmly believe that like people who play Yu-Gi-Oh tend to set tend to like pick jobs, not jobs, excuse me. Pick decks that like fit them as a player. Like for all we know, this person Zant here, they might be an archaeologist. They like dinos. We, we have the sushi deck in our, like... Oh, oh, oh. Hello. We have the sushi deck in the back burner. That's going to come out eventually. Oh, uh, what is this? And he destroyed this miscellaneous dino? What happened? Okay, interesting. Uh, Let's use pot. See what we get. Draw two. Oh, another pot. Uh, so the downside is we have two lava golems we can't exactly use at the moment. And I fake them out though. In hindsight, actually, maybe I shouldn't have said that. If he destroys it, it's gonna be really awkward for me too because I want that. <laughs> for it I have a ring though we're both gonna take the damage but that's okay does he have something in his hand though <gasps> oh no <laughs> that's a big problem oh no <laughs> My traps! Well, this is awk. Let's see, he's gonna send something to the graveyard, I think? I'm afraid of these dinos. I don't have- I've never seen a deck like this before, and I'm thinking, like, there's some sort of graveyard trickery for this because of, you know, paleontology and excavating and then, like, dinosaurs. What did he put? He banished... Okay, he's gonna special summon, so... This would be an opportune time to play the Max C. Kinda need the draws at the moment. <gasps> he read me like a book! He has a cross-out designator. Does he have a Max C? Yeah, 
Yeah, he does. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, we have a few problems now. So the one of the downsides I'm noticing with the Lava Golems is that I seem to be getting, like, an obscene amount of them in my starting hands. Maybe I should tune down the number I'm running, and move, or maybe replace one of an Ibiru or something. Interesting. Okay, I see how that works. The miscellaneous source is gonna destroy it and bring back uh, another dino because of the baby source. Interesting. All right, let's see what you got. What you got? What are you gonna bring out? Scrap Raptor. Um, interesting. Okay, we're gonna bring these out. Give him a little burn, and hopefully he doesn't kill me. <laughs> We're gonna do this too. Mm. Oh my god, did we mill all of our magic cylinders? Oh my god, there's one little deck, deck left. Okay. Kind of a problem, but we still have the dimension wall, so it's not too bad. Let's see what Zant comes up with. If you didn't read, he might attack me. He's gonna go for it. Gonna add a dino to his hand. Oh, it's another miscellaneous horse. I imagine he's gonna special or do something with it. Oh, he might actually have lethal if he special summons uh, a big dino. Oh, it's in defense though. Uh oh, no, he's gonna special summon the big dino. It's coming. What is he cooking? He's training a bunch of dinos together, which I imagine means he's gonna tune and like do other shenanigans here. I like this. This is interesting. This is an interesting dino deck. He's destroying a bunch of his monsters, but he's getting a bunch of effects from it that let him special summon more. Oh, that's a level 10. He could go into a Baron. Going to a six. Crap wiper. Oh, he linked my. Oh, smart. He linked my. Uh, my lava golem. Oh, he's gonna destroy my card too. Nice. This is a really tricky deck. I like it. Nice. Oh, you know what? In hindsight, in hindsight, I should have got the the Ring of Destruction. Maybe that would have let me um, at least destroy something that might have caused issues to bring all this suddenly on the field. Either that or I could have gone... No, no, if, if I went... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ceasefire. Ceasefire would have done... 
It would have been close. It would have been 6,000. Oh, sorry, not 6,000. 3,000. And 500 would be left. Holy Volzars, they're back. Wow, I haven't seen them in forever. That's awesome. This is awesome. I've never seen dinosaurs played this way, especially with scraps too. I like the synergy with that. That's cool. It's been a long time since I've seen scraps too. Scraps seem fun. Don't do it. No. No. <laughs> It'd be like that. That was a good match though. I'm not too mad about that one. We saw something new. And we learned about a new deck. That's cool. Good match. Okay. So, we are 16 still. Um, I think we're going to still play a bit more burn and then we can try to cyber deck in a bit. But first off, I do need to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back and then we'll get right back into it, yeah? All right. See you soon. Be right back.
All right, sorry about that, folks. We back in it. All right, so um, let's take a look again at our deck here. I'm finding that the lava golems do kind of clog up, but I'm not sure what else we can really play in lieu of them, you know. Maybe one marshmallow on? That'd be kind of funny. You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. I think it, the thing is, I, the deck seems to keep drawing into multiple copies of them. Which will be fun in some other instances, but uh, you only can really get to use one at any moment in time, right? So it's kind of like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Okay. Kind of basic start, not bad. You have some defense, so not bad. Uh oh, Castillo's. I have to see where this leads because I remember all my um, spells and trap zones uh, being limited at some point last year, I think, if I remember correctly. special song. He's gonna banish my my extra deck of nothing. <laughs> that should be funny. Oh no, my Baron. This is in here. Okay. Gonna special summon. Wow, I really wish I had the hand one right now. That'd be pretty nice. Adding way too much to his hand. Mm. One, two, three, four. Okay, we could work with this, maybe. Let's see what he does here. Axe C. Wow. Good thing I don't special summon. Okay, let's see. We're going to draw two. Oh. Well, howdy do to you, too. Some hand trap traps. <laughs> um, I 
I don't have a way to destroy any monsters, so we're gonna just summon this for the ceasefire, maybe. Oh, he's gonna special summon? Ah, he's got a special summon. That's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for ceasefire. One, two, three, four. Four, four, just desserts. So, 2,000. 2,000 and... Two, three, four, five, six. 3,000. Oh, it's still going to be just right under though, isn't it? He's going to trade out, it looks like. Oh, wow, he's going to... Interesting. Okay, I'm going to activate the ceasefire then. All that damage in there before he destroys all our monsters. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be almost enough. Okay. If he plays the wrong card next turn, uh, he's going to... going to get a healthy dose of Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Okay. Luckily, we have one monster for defense, too, so we'll see. He has to just activate a monster effect in their hand or the graveyard. He's gonna keep burning me, though. It. It, it actually, the reality is if he just attacks, he actually wins, but... <laughs> I have a feeling... They might just accidentally trigger it. We'll see. Or he might be too wary. He might try to get rid of them with some sort of... Excuse me. Some sort of effect. He's getting aware of one of them. It's so funny because this trap does usually does so much, like has so much mileage, but in very special cases, like this one for example, <laughs> it just happens to be the case where it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, good. You can banish it now. How fun. <laughs> well, if I'm dead. Well, I'm so dead. <laughs> it's okay. We almost got him. Not that one. Hit me with the 2100. No! <laughs> Why is that allowed? Once per chain? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Nibiru didn't get to be too useful this time around either. Oh well. It'd be like that. That's a good match too. Okay. So now I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and try to play our Cybers again. Yeah, why not? You know what? Let's switch over. Keep it fresh. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. What's this one? No, that is not it. Oh, we need to... 
Uh, you know what? It's okay, actually. I was going to delete the deck because it's an old copy of the deck, but... You know what? I think it's okay. Okay. So, let's see... How we do this time. Actually, I, did I play this person yesterday? I might have played this person yesterday. One second. Okay, that's good for Cyber Dragon. Going first do be kind of nice a lot uh, uh, the time during these days. Oh, oh. Okay, we got a Clockwork Knight and a Cyber Dragon. That's going to be useful. Uh-oh, here comes the Snake Eyes. Okay, so Ash was the one that kind of causes issues, but I don't have anything to negate it, so... It do be like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did play this person yesterday. Coincidentally. The Link Karibo. Well, this would be really nice if uh, they don't have some sort of negate to remove the Clockwork Knight, so. Now the question is, do I bait them with the Harpy's Feather Duster first if they have a lot of equips, or do I want to just go straight into the Clockwork Knight? Because if I bait them with the, the Duster and it goes through, that's actually less creatures for us to actually work with, right? Let's see, you can choose special summon. A lot of stuff is happening, and I'm going to assume it's all bad, but I think we have a way out of this, hopefully. Let's see. Hey, IP Mascarina. Oh, she's just going to straight link it. Okay. There's the Promethean Princess. Okay, so last I checked, this one can just keep being special summoned. Oh no, that's not true. It, it keeps spamming its ability in the graveyard. Okay, does it still get the effect of its IP Masquerina though? Okay, so let's double check this. This one, if we special summon, you target one fire and destroy it. Okay, so that's kind of an issue. Okay, let's bait them first. Let's see what they do. Not the response I was kind of expecting, but not not too bad. Luckily, we can do this as many times as we need to, so... Let's see. They're probably going to destroy it. Yep, there it is. Let's see. Probably another negate. We're going to link into something, but I don't know what. And that's kind of an issue. Oh, he decreased the number, though. That's kind of an issue. 
Oh no, he's special summoning. Okay. No, never mind actually. We might actually be okay. He's gonna special summon again. He's adding more fuel to the fire though. This is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's see. If I played this right, which I think I did, I think we got this. Equip it. Nice. I don't, I don't think they got any more responses. Let's go. Thank you for your cards. Let's see. Can't negate that though. What's he gonna do? Watch him still have a response to everything though. Oh, let's go. I don't think he does. Yeah, buddy. That was the first time I think my cyber dragons have worked against the snake eyes. <laughs> let's go though. Take all their monsters. That felt good. <laughs> I keep getting destroyed by Snake Eyes, so that felt good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let's go though. Sweet. Okay. Uh, we're still 16. Still need to get to three, three more levels. Four. If we're 16 right now, we need four more levels. Oh, you know what? I'm noticing maybe if we lose any matches, I think we. Like, quote-unquote, lose some LP, though. Because I think it wasn't our last match, like, maybe two or three matches ago. A level-up duel, but now we're not getting them. Oh, we're second. Okay, we like second. That works. Unless they summon everything on the field. Which is, you know what, very possible these days. <laughs> I think we're okay. You can banish this some cards out oh one face down one face down that's sus um is it worth lightning storming it though it's probably a bad idea to do this but let's see what they have down there I don't know. Uh, there's too many cards in the game these days to kind of guess. So <laughs> I'm going to assume it's something probably that spells Nasty Doom for me. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, Lightning Storm it. What was it? Oh, Shadow. Okay, I haven't seen Shadows in a while either. That's cool. That being said, I don't really remember what shadows do. I know they fusion, but their card effects, I don't exactly remember too much. Oh, an ash. Okay. Do I just go for the fat damage then? Now that they've ashed me? I don't know what that face down would be, but I can't imagine it being too extremely dangerous. Famous last words. Ooh, Maxi. Okay. You're gonna get one for this. Take your card. Yeah, we don't need those. So I'll just check in. Okay, we're gonna set this. Go for a... Hopefully a face smack. That's he. Okay, he's gonna add a... Chat all spell trap to his deck or hand. But we're still gonna face plant into him for 24, so that should be. Actually, can. 
Tribute one ladder dark monster, special summon one ladder dark monster. Same original type level, but different original. Actually, can we duality into something else here? Can we duality into the Cyber Twin Dragon, actually? Now that I said it, though, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use it, but... Let's see what happens here. We do have that Cyber Repair Plant in our hand, but... I don't have anything in our graveyard at the moment. What do we mill? Ooh, some stuff we don't want to see. We got we milled our hertz in there. Yeah, I misplayed that. I should have kept the duality in my hand so I could actually use it for the second attack. Okay, well, we learn. I think that would have worked, right? I think it it's just any sort of same level. Ooh, magical meltdown. Okay. That's right. I think Shadows did use pokers, right? Go this Alistar. Okay, let's see. I kind of misplayed that. I could have actually OTK'd there. I kind of forget that you can, once you set a, a creature, not a creature, once you set a quick play spell, you can't exactly use it until um, your opponent's turn. If it was from your hand, though, it would have been okay. The big oops. He's going to go for the Shadow Fusion. What you getting? I remember there was a Winda Shadow. Like the, uh, what's it called? The Charmers. And I'm sure there's some sort of lore in there too. Was Wendy a uh, Gusto? Still, she looks like she would be a Gusto character. Uh oh, it's a big one. Let's see. Send one shadow card from your deck to your graveyard. That I can only add in means bad things for me. The funny thing is, that all, the only reason why I know this card is because I, I've seen it like pop up on the main menu so many times. Or Master Duels. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so what is going to happen for us is really dependent on what we draw next. Because I'm pretty sure that Construct is going to just rip through my front field right now. I don't really have a... Way to stop that. Our twin dragon wouldn't be able to do very much here too. Oh well, actually it is twenty eight also, but I think it actually just destroys straight up, right? Um, better the damage to have special summon monster just destroy. Yeah, so that's not really useful for us. Even if I summon the twin headed dragon, I think it would have it'll just run over it. It's because of the Effect. Um, I misplayed. I think we would have, we definitely had the win if we had the duality in our hand. Actually, in hindsight, maybe I should have still dualityed, because I can use the cyber repair plant if it was in the graveyard. Another potential misplay. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm still learning this deck though, so. Please bear with me as uh, I learn it. Cute. Oh, 
Oh, uh, which reminds me, actually, recently, regarding negation cards, I ran into this, into this very fun-looking um, Herald deck, the one with, like, Herald of Perfection. It, it got the Heralds out so quickly, and they had such a huge hand afterwards that they were just able to negate anything I played. Wacky. But pretty neat, still, to see. Yeah, they're cooking something sitting there. All right. This is a big problem. He probably has the spell card in his hand to negate my cyber plan. Ah, uh, I might as well, I guess. Bring it back. Unless he wants to negate it. Of course he is. Okay, that's fine. I'm running out of cards. <laughs> Let's see. Added a shadow fusion. That's bad. So now I know for sure he has a spell card in his hand. If I get a clockwork knight, maybe I could do something. Lightning storm. I mean, not the worst thing. Oh, what do I want to play first, though? If he's going to negate it. Do I want him to negate the plant or the storm? Let's just send the storm. That way we can add a... Cyber Dragon to our hand. Okay, now he does he have a second spell though? He probably does. Oh, it passed. Okay, sweet. So... Ooh, what do I want though? Ooh, that is a machine. I could just take it. This is psychic though, and also it's gonna return, it's gonna bounce my monster back if I do. Hmm. Let's get core. In hindsight, that probably was a bad choice, though, because he probably has a creature in his hand. Oh, maybe not. We go for the Cyber Emergency. out of the way. Now this is probably another hedgehog though. So once I hit it, it's probably gonna search another another card. And then this is gonna in turn let them do everything they want to, but 
No, he's changing my position. And he's also destroying it? Oh, I guess he's getting probably benefit from the banished cards. Okay, well, this lets us do this at least. Mm. And that's duality. We could at least draw something. Goes back into our decks, draw a card. Oh, another duality. Okay. Level 10 was, I think, our end dragon, right? Yeah, so... Now I can set it, because there's no reason. <laughs> we're not attacking, right? So... Okay, we're kind of at our critical moments here. We're going to have to see if they... They have a field spell, though. I'm pretty sure... They have a lot of ways out of this, if, even with just two cards in their hand. Unless they dead draw it into something. Let's see. There's a uh, Alistair again. Gonna get the invocation, of course. Uh, Link? Oh, it's a credit plant. Okay, what is he going to get out of this then? Let's see. And then, let's see. And play 2,000 life points. One fusion, polymerization. And then it can become that effect. Okay, so that's not too bad. The problem is... Yeah, he's probably going to make another Machavo. Let's see, if you as a girl, we could banish Duffel at that moss. I think he's gonna try to just run over my my mega fleet, so I'm gonna go ahead and duality this into a, an end dragon. Unless he has a spell in his hand and he just negates it. That would be really unfortunate. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. Oh, I just killed myself. Well, we'll see. Of course, he has that card back to his hand, so now I can't really special summon Cyber Dragon, can I? Well, actually, maybe. It's just not really an activated effect, is it? Ooh, nice. Let's see what he does. a lot of damage here depends what we draw i don't i don't really see anything getting us out of this maybe a cyber dragon to take the machaba again let's see that's destiny draw that's not that bad but it's he's still gonna negate it from his hand Unless he lets it through, which is which I don't think is gonna happen. He has a response to this? What would he respond to? Once per turn. Oh, okay. Well that's fun. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. No plays for me. Maybe. We'll see. Yep, no plays for me. Okay, guess I lose. 
<laughs> It'd be like that, though. He has too many negates. What's he gonna do? Another Phoenix Enforcer is gonna attack. Oh, good. He has the nice courtesy to just end me. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Good game. It'd be like that. Nice duel, though. I don't think I've seen Shadow Invokers in a while either, so that was kind of neat to see. Um, okay. We're still at 16. Kind of far. I'm gonna keep crunching it, though. We still have... Two, two and a half hours? We have roughly two and a half hours still to make it, so. Let's see what we get. Onagashimasu. Okay. Excuse me, munching my food while we play this. Hmm. Oh no, it's another Scareclaw Vizos. Okay, let's see what we got. Is Visa Starfrost like Is this like a normal engine or something? So, so this one I don't think I've seen before. Mana Manadium. It seems like this is actually the The deck it's supposed to be made out of. Yeah, if it's a more Visa Starfrost effect here. So this one is this one's actually interesting. I don't think I've seen this deck before either. Okay, we got some fairies in the mix here. Tuning too. Interesting. Okay. So this is actually a Visa's deck, and I'm kind of pumped to see it. This seems interesting. Oh, the Starfrost is back. Let's see. Oh, Gavin, what's up? To, uh, welcome back to the stream. How's it going? Hey to you as well. Playing some Yu-Gi-Oh today. We're going to see if we can uh, get some wins and climb up the ranks in Yu-Gi-Oh today, too. There's so much lore in this game. They ha Konami actually has a lot of, like, story to work with with all these different ty card types. They just have to make an anime, for real, like, about these different stories would be cool good oh good to hear i'm glad to hear it you ready for this next week it's uh, about to start back into a monday so let's both do our best after uh our weekend's over your claws back or is is scareclaw of Visa, Starfrost, Manet, Medi are they all just the same, like, card archetype? I have no idea. <laughs> I keep seeing mix different mixes. Yeah, you, oh, like, I'm, am I ready for the week? I, I'm, I think I'm ready. Could use a little bit of a longer break, but it's not bad, you know? So there's a lot of things happening here that I'm not really aware of what's happening. <laughs> uh, I don't see any negate yet. That's pretty nice. Um, here comes the Lynx, maybe? Or Synchro? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Got the Tutor. Oh, it's a Baron. Okay, now it's a problem. I was going to say, <laughs> now that I've said... Of course, as, as, right after I say, oh, there's no negates yet. Here comes the negates. Okay, so... We have to find a way to get rid of that. Um, 
The once per turn target one card on the field and destroy it. I think it's only on their turn, right? So we're going to have to bait out the first effect, which I think we can do with Core. Then we'll special summon Cyber Dragon, Awkward Knight, and take all their monsters. I think that's the plan. And this time we have Duality. We'll keep it in our hand. Ooh, what the heck is that? Very colorful and deadly looking. Special summon it by banishing cards. Cannot be destroyed by battle. You target one other monster on the field, destroy it, and if you do, it gains attack. This is still turn one though, right? So... Interesting. Oh, he got rid of the big beastie monster. He's probably going to get it back, though. There's the sprite elf. Hmm. This is a negate of some sorts, but I can't... I don't know... Using it for a, Chim a Chimera tech will actually count as targeting. I don't think it does. And you know what? Funny thing is, as I get higher up in these ranks, we're playing people who have like five minute turns. Like straight up, I'm going to eat lunch slash dinner while we wait for this to happen. <laughs> And which makes me feel kind of less bad for playing the Stardust deck when I have to take my, my own, like, three-minute turn. <laughs> Let's see. You still going. Ooh, Borrow Load 2. Okay, I have to do two negates now. That's a problem. I think we can get over it, though. We have them just enough right now, but if they get another negate, that's going to be another problem. And that's an IP Mascarina of all things, too. Okay. Seems about right. You know what? We can bait out the effects with the triple tactics though, I think. Ooh, double triple tactics. Nice. Okay, we're gonna bait them out with Cyber Dragon Core first. Cause I, I doubt they're gonna let us search. Oh, he's gonna imperm too? Wow. Amazing. Okay, that just ruined everything. So <laughs> Mm. The thing is, the second I play Clockwork Knight, they're going to negate it for sure. Now, the tricky thing is I can also duality. They're just going to negate it. I can't use a 4,000 attack monster because they're just going to straight up negate it if I do. I can only activate one Clockwork Knight per turn. So even if I tactics it out. Okay, you know what? Let's go for the duality. This is probably going to get negated. But that will unlock the rest of our hand. Okay, we could take control of the Baron, destroy this.
Okay, yes. So we're gonna bait the Baron by taking it. There we go. Okay. So that should be all their negates. And that should open up for Clockwork Knight. I think, yeah, we can only use one duality per turn, sadly, so... We can't exactly search another duality and OTK them. Okay. Thank you for your... Monsters. Let's use a duality to try to draw something useful. Ooh, rev system. Nice. Okay. Oh, I should have used a thrust first, though, huh? That would have let me put it into my hand and then I can actually do things. That's okay. Just use it anyways. Um, we can't use the set card per turn, but we can grab an infinite. We can't OTK them, but we can do a lot of damage. Now this is where they play another five minutes, and we uh, we lose. <laughs> card uh, imperm that don't exactly want them to um, add more cards to their hand Not bad. Okay, so they have one trap. I get this distinct feeling that uh, that trap's gonna ruin us, but... We're gonna go into another Chimera attack by taking their monster. It's gonna be real close, but... Probably have some sort of trap. Let's see. Oh, okay. We're still alive. Okay, let's see what they have. Was that it? Is he letting us finish? Let's see then. Alright guys, she must he can't attack. He got this. Woohoo! Nice. Thank you for the duel, Seikas. That was a that was a good match. We managed to get past all the negates too. That was a good solid three, four negates. In that field, then we managed to get past all of them with some good thinking. So, the triple tactics, the triple tactics saved us because there's no sane person out there who would let a triple tactics through. <laughs> Let's be real. So, we got lucky, we got the right hand for that. Uh, we're still 16, still taking a bit to get to the next level, but slowly but surely. Is 
Is his name Fork? Fork. <laughs> when I got you, my Fork son. Okay. Oh, I didn't see it actually. Were we gonna get a level if we win this next one? I didn't see. I hope that's the case. That'd be nice. Might have been their side though. Honestly, I think I, I think it was their side that might get a level if they win. What's this? Altergeists. Let's see. Return one altergeist. Oh, he's going for the spooky things. Okay. A link from the hand? Is that what I'm understanding here? It looks like it. This card's going back to their hand, so it looks like they can link once per turn in the hand. Oh, interesting. Opponent can't activate spell cards. I'm assuming that's a spellcaster too. Yeah, okay. Um... He can negate. Hold up, let's see. Well, you attribute one Altergeist monster to discard points to negate the activation. They're sent from the field, add one to the hand. Okay, so that's not as bad as I was thinking yet. Um, it could be. We just have to be careful here. But we're just gonna steal it. <laughs> Uh, we can add a Hertz. But they also get to add because of the card leaving the field. Marion Adder, okay. Interesting. We're gonna add a Cyber Dragon to our hand. We don't have the... We sadly don't have the um, the OTK here with duality, but that's fine. We're laying in some pretty good damage to start, so we'll set that. We'll be good to go. So if any luck, we can just drop another Clockwork Knight and even boost our um, attack even further next turn. Depending what they give us, though. Oh, uh, normal summon, add an altergeist to the hand. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna let that through. We'll just be careful here. I think they get still link though. They get still link into. Oh no, wait a minute, maybe they can't. If you control no spellcaster monsters, you cannot activate spell cards. So it's actually a machine now because of uh, clockwork. Oh, that's rough. That's actually really rough. I, if they have spell cards in their hand, they can't actually play anything. Oh no. That's really rough. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play the second Clockwork Knight. Kawai Soul. If this goes through, I feel kind of bad. Oh, there he goes, a trap. Oh, is this shuffling it? I don't think he can do anything in this case then. Unless there's a card out here that... Oh no, he's special something. Okay. He's gonna get another one. So he's gonna block the attacks. And then he's gonna return one to the hand. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go for the second attack then. Yeah, he has a negate. Of course, there's a card in that deck that negates attacks. Makes sense. Okay. It'd be like that. I am gonna 
Do something kind of mean then, though. We're gonna make another Chimera attack with his monsters. And then end the turn. I don't exactly want him to have a bunch of um, monsters coming out, so. Oh, the continuous trap, too. Ain't that convenient. I should have set it there, actually, in, in hindsight. Let's see. It can attack directly if it inflicts battle damage. Yeah, it's gone already. It's fine. <laughs> Let's see. It's a Hextia. Mm, gonna. I think he he's probably gonna link again, but I don't exactly want him to do anything with this either. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yatta. Okay, we did it. We won. Nice. I don't think we got another dual level yet, though. Or maybe we did. Let's see. Nope, not yet. <laughs> so many games. It's got. It's kind of. It would be nice to know where exactly we are in like a cup, so we can know when we're actually gonna level. But there we go. Win the level up. Okay, here's hoping. Uh, Moyashi, onegaishimasu. Let's see what they play. You got a Karibo, too. That's cute. Chat, do you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh! too? Let me know what your favorite decks are. I would love to know what else is out there, because recently, I've been kind of just relearning what's out there. It's like Altergeist, Shadow. I'm kind of behind on the newer decks. Like, I don't know what they do. But I would like to know what you guys play. Oh, it's Moye. Juanito's not here. Let's see. When this normal special summon. I don't know what they do enough to know if I want to impermanence that, so I'm going to let it happen. Against my better judgment. <laughs> Okay, this is the Grandmaster. This I'm gonna negate because I don't want them to add more cards to their hand. So we're gonna let that other one slide, but not that one. The Soul of Moya is still gonna add another card, and that's fine. Let's see. Here comes the special summon bonanza. It would be nice to have a clockwork right now. The clockwork would let us at least take their monsters. If he's... Oh, what is happening now? Another Henry spirit. A Tenyi. Is Tenyi part of Soul Soul? I guess they would have to be. They're worms. They look very aesthetically similar too, I suppose. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they're definitely part of the same set. I think I used Tenyi at some point. For um, another deck. I don't know which one it was, though. It might have Thunder Dragons. Hey, Crow Scarecrow, welcome back. What's up? You didn't uh, continue with the annoying deck. I did, actually. Early in the um, early in the stream, we, I had an updated burn deck. But as it turns out, uh, we happened to run into a um, another, the same exact deck <laughs> in the upper fields here. So... Uh, hold up. Let's see. How we cooking this? The 
Does he have any negates? Is that's the first question here. I don't think he does. We're gonna play the Cyber Emergency first. So we can we can play the annoying deck in a bit, but I'm finding that the Cyber deck is a bit more consistent with the higher levels at the moment, so we could we could trade it out off after this one maybe. If we happen to win this and increase a dual level, I don't think we can decrease our dual level. So we can definitely give it a try. Got a reaction, but it got. Hmm, they think about something. Uh, I don't exactly want to drop my core, but... We can see if this will let us... Proceed here. They have something in their hand. I don't know what it is. It's not a maxi. I don't know if they would have played it already. I think it... I don't think it's an Ash because they would have... Played it just now. Do we just go for it? Let's see. There's a Nova. I like the Cyber Dragon deck. Just asking because you like the other one. I do. I love my Cyber Dragon deck, so I don't mind playing it as well. It's true. The other one's quite fun. Uh, if they special summon, banish one monster. Oh, that's fun. I didn't read. I can't read. <laughs> Great. Uh, that's fine. We'll see if we can get another one out. Let's see. We can special someone this and see if we can get our OG Cyber Dragon back. Or they won't let us. Okay. Seems about right. <laughs> So that's not bad. It's not. We still have a way around it. I think it's nothing too serious yet. But I'm gonna take his monster. For the cyber fleet. Oh, I can clear his field with duality, can't I? I think we can clear his field. Okay, let's try it. They poke the monster, so to speak. Ah, I think we got this. Or at least we're in a slightly better position. Cyber End Dragon! Okay. Boop that. We're gonna go to main phase two, set this. And I think we have the duality just to return some stuff back. And might as well just get back a hand advantage. Uh, let's put back our Cyber Dragon and our feet. Draw card. Ooh, not bad. Okay. And turn there. Uh, I have a friend that wanted to make Cyber Dragon, but I'm not very proficient with it, so I don't know the combos. I can watch you use them and learn. Oh, okay. Very cool. Um, this is a deck I saw on the web. Um... Seems very like my playstyle, very reactive. It um uses. Uh oh, shoot! Should I have negated that? That's awk. They're gonna summon something. Okay, we'll see. That's so annoying. <sighs> gonna return it. That's fine. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's very reactive. This is definitely a second turn deck, I'd say. Um, just because the inherent, like, Cyber Dragons, right? You, you want to have the enemy having a, um, a creature out so you can special summon them. Um, they're really fun. I like... I One of my favorite cards in this deck a long time ago was, um... This card. Uh, Kamaratek Fortress Dragon. When I used to run plant synchro in real life. I had cyber dragons in my deck and um 
there was a lot of instances where there were i think the meta at the time was a machine deck i can't remember what it was but it was very useful to be able to have that cyber dragon then change their like machine type monsters into this and then take their monsters away which is kind of neat and it doesn't really trigger it just it's a fusion summon that sends cards to the graveyard so it's kind of it's really nice it's really cool it gives me uh oh what's this synchro draw a card during your main phase excavate I guess I'm gonna impermit. I don't. I don't really have a reason to impermit, but uh, you know what? Actually, in hindsight, I could have waited for him to try to bounce it and then do it, but that's fine. I'm to be honest, Crow. I'm still learning the uh, deck myself, so I'm. Like a few times th today, I've already misplayed. Um, it's a, it's actually kind of like an OTK deck too. Like you react to them and then you OTK them back. That's pretty much the TLDR for the deck, I think. And then it's really fun. I love Cyber Dragon, so this is really cool. Stardust Dragon, as you know, is my like super favorite. But the turns take so long because of the synchro summoning. Um. So actually, I was saying earlier, it's kind of funny. As, as we progress further up the ladder here, I don't. I feel less and less bad playing the Synchro deck because we've already run into plenty of players here where their turns take like 10 minutes. <laughs> and I'm just here eating my lunch, my food, while I wait for them to finish. So I think for me, the Cyber Dragons, they're just the right amount of... Um, like play it doesn't take that long to play them number one number two they're actually pretty efficient that i actually really like this deck so far uh and it actually shuts down a, a good a decent amount of what you might run into which is pretty cool Moyashi is cooking something with these solar souls. Oh, it's Chen Ying. And I'm going to take some damage. If I'm lucky. Oh, well, no, wait. I'm going to die, aren't I? I don't have any defense. Yeah, he's going to just straight. <laughs> he's just going to smack me. Yeah, okay. That's fine. To be like that. Uh, so you prefer to go second with this deck? Yes, I'd have, I'm pretty sure in most cases you want to go second with this deck. Um, if you do go first, there are options that you can go into. You can actually um, try to go into a Cyber Dragon Infinity, and that will be your negate card for the for the deck. Um, Oh, so it does. There, there is kind of an LP system. Okay, so we don't have the chance to level up anymore. It's kind of a bummer. We'll see. Um, most of the time you want to though, because um, at least this version of the deck that I'm playing, it has lightning storms. Um, w w you know, barring the obvious like Cyber Dragon, where you want to go second so you can special summon it. Um. Yeah, there's like lightning storms and other things in this deck that kind of... Oh, it's tier limits. Do I want to shut this down? I kind of do. You know what? Let's just shut it down. I don't know what it... I don't, any sort of like... Add to deck for tier limits to the graveyard is a big problem. Oh, look. It's a cross out designator. Oh, I was right. We want to get rid of that. Okay. Well, with any luck, we might be able to still push through. We'll see what they do. Here comes the six minute turn, though. I'm going to take a bite of my food while we wait here. One second.
Oh, it's that lady. With tears, usually try to negate the uh, the kit colors. Oh, is that the kit colors? Oh, it's Kashdira too. Uh oh. Oh, this one. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. It sends cards to the graveyard, and that's even better for them, so. There's the mill. Oh, there's a Revolution Synchron in there, too. Well, here comes a turn. Let's take a uh, lunch break. <laughs> Useful. Now the problem is he definitely has to play somewhere in there, I think. So we're gonna try to bait it out. She didn't negate it, so I'm kind of curious what she has in there. I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for the Clockwork Knight. We'll see if they negate it, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Which means we can take them. For our Chimera Tech. Now the problem is... I don't... Oh, they surrendered. Okay, that's fine. Hooray, let's go. Hey, Nerd Emoji, welcome back to the stream. How's it going? Hello, this lovely Sunday... I guess now it would be evening. It's around 6 p.m. How are you doing? What are you up to? It's one of the decks I have. I have decks, fun decks, and more meta to do dailies. Tears can be strong, but it's really fragile to the limitations it has now. You see? That was that. So, like, if you interrupt the right thing, they lose. I see. Did they ban, like, some of their, like, staple cards or something? In the OCG? Because uh, last, last I checked, the OCG has a different ban list, right? So, in fact, actually, you know what? That is news today. Didn't they just release another OCG ban list recently? Just today, in fact? Uh-oh, it's a Spirit Blossom. I wonder if you can play like a Hand Trap deck with all the like Spirit Blossom, Ash Blossom um, cards. That'd be kind of fun to see. They all have different effects though. I can't imagine that working together. Unless they maybe add like a level 3 support that's not a tuner for them that you can tune into. Oh, it's Math Mech. I don't know what to interrupt here either. I might just keep this in my hand so when it comes to my turn, I can do something. Okay, that's kind of bad though. I don't want them to add some sort of Affect card too from their hand, uh, deck to their hand, so I'm gonna cancel that one at least. But yeah, I, I got I can kind of see it for tier limits. Um, it's I guess it, that's true. If you if you have an, have the knowledge of where to negate things at certain times, like that becomes kind of critical to how you play, right? Ooh, what's this? Maybe one monster special summon a math mech. And detach to add even more math mechs. Okay, that's a lot of mechs, and it's not machine. It's cybers. <laughs> Let's see. Normal summon add a cybers. What is this like the 
the main character is deck or something. Math mech? I don't think it is, right? Because I, I only remember Cybers being like a very specific character's deck, I think. Like Splash Mage? Splash Mage, I remember. Oh man, they're doing math. What's happening? Mm, a clockwork would be nice again right now. <laughs> Uh-oh, there we go. Oh, Transco Doctor. That's potentially an issue. Uh... Tr 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 Uh oh, this is getting a bit dangerous. Yeah, Master Duel has its own ban list. In uh, Master Duel, Merely is a, is banned. That's one less fusion. Havnus is at one. So if you banish Havnus with a Bestial DD Crow, they only have one fusion in that deck. Oof, that's rough. Oh, it's a Firewall Dragon, too. Uh, the Splash Mage, I think, is what's going to negate things, I bet, right? Let's see. Special Summon, you can't negate its effects. You can send one Cybers. Okay. I'm not seeing too many issues yet. Is this going to get Ash? It's going to get maxed. Okay. It's not Ash, though. I'll take it. Then, uh, say, sorry, let's let see what you're saying. So there are no more cards to that send uh, TG back in, 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 Ma in Master Duel, like Ishizu's cards and Ka Chaos Ruler. So nowadays, tier is very limited. Oh, is that true? They seem very strong still either, even with, though, or, like, with the situation they're in, even. Like, I'm surprised how strong they, st they seem to still be. Uh, I'm going to take your cards. Thank you. You can draw though. Um, that triple tactics thrust. Into, I think, a rev system. Yeah, this should. Oh, why didn't it add? Did I just did I just accidentally skip through the hand thing? Uh oh. Well, that's awk. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, Thunder hurts. Well, we don't need hurts right now. In fact, why did I summon hurts? That's a problem. Do some battle damage. Let's play some duality. The Cyber End Dragon. Now he has a lot of cards though, that's kind of an issue. We're gonna duality. Put something back to our deck. And maybe draw something nice then. Repair plan. Okay, we'll take it. So, let's see what they can do. I think he can OTK me with Math Max, though, if he's smart about it. It seems like it would work. Okay, here comes all the special summons. I wish I had Maxi, but uh, we don't actually run Maxi in this deck. Is, was Tears affected in the TCG ban list? Now that makes me kind of curious, though. Like, I wonder if those are still around. Uh oh, what's this? Golem, Crystal Heart, Target One Link. Oh, Trans Code Talker is back. <clears throat> Man, Links are crazy. I, I can't wrap my head around, like, Link monsters and Link summoning. It's a bit weird for me. 
I'm sure if I took the time, more time to actually think about it, I'm sure it would make sense, but I like Synchro Summoning a lot more, so... Let's see, and TCG Kit Kalios is banned. Oh, okay. I see, I see. I guess that makes sense. He seems very... Was she? He's very enabling. Let's see. Uh, and cards that shut down the graveyard are an auto lose for uh, tier limits because, like, uh, Dimension Shifter. But since the release of Castier and Vanquish, soul tiers are even more fragile. Ah. Yeah, Castiers are nasty. I don't like playing them usually. So people will usually fusion things that are not even a tier fusion. So that makes sense. Then, you know what? That's actually kind of what we see too. On the, uh, at least what we were playing here. I think he's trying to wrap his brain around getting another, getting his firewall back. But, um, I don't know if he could do that. Cyber End is pretty gnarly. It's 4,000. That's pretty high. Oh, he's got something though. He's Lincoln. Oh, another decode talker. Interesting. Again, what's this that came out? Update Jammer. I think he'll get very close to killing me if he gets through. There's the access code talker. Yeah, it's gonna get a lot of attack power here though. Oh, you get to make two attacks too. Okay, that might be a really big problem. Gonna go probably for the Link 5 and... Oh, it has to be something that was used for its Link material though, so I can't use the Firewall Dragon. He has options though, I think, doesn't he? Yeah, so... 4.3 is still pretty high. Oh, Link Kribo. Oh, Garibo? It's a different one. Wait, is it a different one? Is it Link Kribo and Link Garibo? Is there m multiple? I don't remember it having the frowny face. 8,000? Oh, no. What is happening? When did this happen? <laughs> Now he's just destroying everything. Makes sense. Seems seems about right. Banish all your link monsters and just destroy me. Uh, let's see. So people usually fusion things on. Oh, we said that already. Um, I have to go teach a class. I'll do an Elden Ring stream later in uh, Spanish. Upload many things in my channel if you want to check it out. I'll check it out later. Good luck with the cup. I appreciate it. I'll check out your uh, stream hopefully later if I have the time. Oh no. <clears throat> we got wrecked. Darn, I was actually gonna flip over to the burn deck if you wanted to see, but if you're if you're busy, maybe another time. Don't worry. Uh hope the class goes well. Have fun. Teach all the youngins the good stuff and um stay healthy. Hopefully see you again in a different stream. Appreciate it uh that you came again. Uh, okay, let's think here. You know, I'm kind of tempted just to play DNA. DNA surgery. Because, like, a lot of our wins actually comes from taking their monsters. The imperms are nice, but... Is it worth playing another set of monster type changing things though? The, the, the clockwork is good because we benefit directly from it because of the machine boost, but... The DNA surgery...
you know what? No, in hindsight, we probably shouldn't. I'm going to favorite it just in case we want to try it out another time, but I think it's okay. Darn, we're still pretty far though, aren't we? We got a few more duels in me, and then I think we might take a break. You can go first, my dude. Okay, let's see what we got here. They're going first. So. Oh, what? Up oh, here it comes. Deal. <laughs> yep. That's. Was this just released in OCG or something, or like Master Duel? She always a thing. She's so strong. Oils. And this all the eyeballs come. Okay, we'll see. So there's the ash. Gonna imperm that. Now that I don't know that is kind of the critical monster. Probably do have like three other ways to get around everything. got a poplar still though. They're still gonna do their turn I guess. Negated, wouldn't that have just not? So that. Ash. Okay, that's fine. We still have the rest. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, we can't add it to our hand. I guess we'll just attack him for a hundred. <laughs> Not right. Kind of misplayed that. I thought this would count as a monster on the field, but I guess not. There you go. He goes their entire turn. <laughs> they have way too many outs. Heck. 
I special stuff. Everything. Well, see, the thing is, if you send it to our spell and trap, oh, it's his. Okay. guys on it. I got rid of my duality. That's kind of an idiot. That's a dude. Seems kind of broken. Why can't you? Like, there's so many cards in this game where you, that has that special, like, you can only do this once per turn. But for some reason, this one has like several. And how oh, great! It's a Promethean Princess. She can destroy anything as special now. That's great. Cool. <laughs> So I guess so this that's been two instances though where we have had the thrust and it didn't add it to our hand for some reason I think I don't know I don't know if that original instance of where we tried to set if it's like I don't know I think there was something missing there we just didn't see or I might have clicked too fast I'm not sure Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if this is if it's gonna take this long to get one more level in the cup, I think it's gonna I don't think we've got this. This is still one hour left. So I don't think we're gonna make it. You can try to We can try to at least make one more level. We'll see. Oh, it's a dogma. Onegashimasu dogma-san. Are they going to play dogma deck? Let's see. Or is it another Diabell uh, deck? I can definitely see that happening. Ooh, blue eyes? Okay, I like seeing blue eyes. Interesting. I'm gonna send two blue eyes to the graveyard, I think. Or another one, a different one. Because he gets to send two, I think, right? Where the secondary effect is. Oh, one more dragon. Okay, that's cool. So we could do the white stone. Nice. Lord of D. Oh, this one's King of D, right? The King of D. 
I always wondered why he was playing a guitar. <laughs> I guess it was just some flavor for when this first started, right? But then this guy also is, has a guitar. There's the alternative. Okay, let's see what we can do here. He's going to special summon another because of the egg. Let's see. Get out of Polly. Yeah, it's warm. Okay. Nice. That's a really healthy hand, I'd say. Mmm, Cyber Player Plants. We can't do anything with that at the moment, but... Try to go for the Cyber Dragon. If I cyber emergency, let's see. Oh, we can add. Okay, sweet. I think we're gonna go. Actor. But we're just gonna also normal summon core. Get the rev system. And this will let us rev system into another cyber dragon, which we're going to make into a Nova. Which. We can't use this effect because it's not in the graveyard yet. So sadly, you will just go ahead and make. Infinity. And activate its effect. Take an alternative dragon. And I think that's where we'll start first. Go ahead and get rid of this one. That's a jet dragon. You can special summon it. We're just gonna send a cyber dragon out. And I'll be good for a repair plant, too. Don't want none of that. In phase two. Oh, we don't need to set the duality. There's nothing to do duality here. Okay, so far so good. Change of heart. That card's still legal? Oh my goodness, no, we're getting that out of here. None of that. I guess with the reality of how cards are these days, though, I guess it wouldn't be very difficult to stop Change of Heart anymore, though. Gonna run over my infinity, that's a problem. Oh. Oh, that was nice of them. Didn't have to destroy it. Oh, well, actually, no. This is good for them. This will let them... This will let them summon as many as they wanted and run away over. Uh-oh, that's kind of bad. <laughs> uh, slap him with curly fries. Knows he's in soul. <laughs> I like the way you think, Suvi. And welcome to the stream, by the way. I hope you're doing well. My name is Nanashi. I like cooking things. I like playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! too and cooking decks, so... I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Um, I think we're about to get cooked, though, because they have Chaos Form. And there, here comes the Max Dragon. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a lot of attack power. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, my God. We're dead. <laughs> we're so dead. Oh, no. Uh, did you make a Hungry Burger deck? I actually have one cooking. I have the uh, Nouvelle deck built but i don't have the all the cards i still need to get um enough uh emblems to be able to do that you know <laughs> i knew it i mean yeah i'm a look 
I was saying it earlier. If, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you're probably going to play a deck that, like, you feel like fits you, right? And I love cooking, so uh, Sue Ship's deck, also in the back burner. Hungry Burger deck, it's there. <laughs> Any sort of food deck I'm playing. Um, but yeah, right now we're trying to complete the cup, though, or at least try to get to level 20. Now, that being said, we only have about an hour left to get to D level 20, and I don't think that's going to happen, so I think we can just play for fun now. So with that in mind, we're going to switch to uh, a burn deck. <laughs> Let's give this a try. We're going to cook them. But, uh, Shubi, what, are you, what kind of decks do you play? It sounds like you also play Yu-Gi-Oh! To be perfectly honest, I started playing again fairly recently. I kind of left during the Synchro era. So, there's a bunch of gaps in my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! knowledge, I'd say. Like, um... Oh, what's... Like, x -Seeds. Well, actually, no, I played a bit of x -Seeds when I played IRL, too, but, uh... Ooh, was that a Kozaki? Oh, what is he cooking? What's this guy doing? This is a self-kill deck? He's playing this in the... In the cup? I mean, that's fine, too, but... I guess... I don't mind that. If he wins somehow by playing that, that'd be kind of amazing, though. Yeah, it's a self-burn deck. Interesting. I don't know what kind of person uh, personality Charmers and Yubo help, but I'll roll with it. Yeah, Yubo and uh, Charmers are cool. I actually also want to make Charmers, but I don't... Um... I don't really, I can't really see how they play yet. I know they got some more recent support too, but I have to figure out how they play. I, I'm assuming they just take your opponent's monsters because of their elements, but I could be wrong. I have to look at it. u fun too. I, I'm kind of surprised that u um still around. I played one yesterday, actually, funny enough. Uh, this is awkward. I'm a burn deck and he's self-burning and I still can't kill him. <laughs> You gotta play a monster, dude. Just play a card, you'll kill yourself. <laughs> Deplete yourself of your life points. <laughs> this is super awkward. What am I supposed to do here? I'm waiting for him to play something. I'm used to things being played, not nothing being played. <laughs> Okay, I got you, homie. Hold on. We're gonna... We're gonna play the Maxi for victory. I got you. Oh, it's the Ring of Destruction! No! <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen a... A self-destruct deck in the cup, though. That's so weird to see. Kinda nice of him, though. Gives me some more pass points, I guess. Uh, you only need six copies of the Charmers of different elements and three Fairy Tale Luna. Everything else is up to you. Interesting. Does it work kind of like an engine? I guess you can, w once you have those in the deck, you can kind of work around it. I'd have to look. That's interesting, though. Okay, let's try playing a, a proper burn to this match and see if we can actually <laughs> play. Uh, we're gonna go first so we can set up. You babe, did I just play you by chance? Were you one of my opponents just now? Or did you happen to find the channel on uh, YouTube? Yeah, I got Lupin Arts. Oh, okay. If they have a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, I'm so dead. <laughs> five set that's so nasty to see you're like oh what is in there uh fairy tale luna searches monsters of 1850 attack oh, okay that makes sense that makes sense 
Uh, so you can search them and then you kind of can work from there. Okay, I like that. That's cool. I have to think. I have to take a look into that. What is that? Level ten time lord. I don't like the look of that. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's kind of spooky. Let's see. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battle have your opponent's life points. Ooh. That's kind of nasty itself. Okay. Let's just negate it then. The algorithm have spoken. Oh, well, I'm glad the algorithm is working in some regard then. That's kind of nice to hear. <laughs> Thanks for popping by after seeing it. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're playing a burn deck against a quasi burn deck. I I don't huh. We basically let him attack and pass our turns. I guess. Then again, yeah, technically it's half, right? It's not even He can't kill me like that. Well, okay, well I I beg to differ with all these other cards in the back, but Hmm. We're gonna try to search a trap that can get rid of that, I think. We don't want that in the field. Yeah, let's go for the ring. You want to negate his attack so his monsters go back to the deck on his turn. That makes sense. Um, it's funny that we're running into all the burn decks when we start playing burn, though. <laughs> kind of silly and even. So earlier today, while, while we started the stream, we started with the burn deck. Um, and we ran into the same exact deck in the cup. And then after that, we had like... Oh no, he shuffles. Okay, sweet. That kind of saves us the trouble, doesn't it? Oh, I see. That's what you mean. You want to negate it so it sends it back. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, I see, I see. So we did actually do the right move. We're just going to sit here, though, because we don't really have a... Uh... I mean, yeah, we're we're both burn again, so we're kind of reactive to decks, right? We gotta we play against the metas, so we just kind of reverse the damage, right? This is kind of awkward for both of us. <laughs> I'm sure half of those cards are also like mirror, not mirror force, like magic cylinder. Sim similar to what I'm playing at the moment. So it's a battle of who gets the secret barrels first, I guess. It is a lava golem. We can't play that either. <laughs> this is so awkward. What are the chances we just run into another burn deck? Let's see. Time Lords are time consuming. It's basically wait until you get your opening. That makes sense. That's... Honestly, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> we're, our, we're both waiting for our chance here. This is like... Oh, well, we could have set that earlier, but we now we can, apparently. This is like that one episode of Pokemon, like, ages ago with Ash, where, like, the Metapod is fighting Metapod. We're just both using Hard, and we don't have any other <laughs> move. We just sit here. Okay, well, I mean, two can play at that game. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to take forever. Well, in any case, Yubi, how's your day going? <laughs> so let, I guess, yeah, let's talk about the Charmers. The Charmers, um, because eventually when you get certain ones out, you can take from their graveyard. Oh, it's a poison.
Oh, double poison? Okay. That's at least going to kickstart some things for us. Okay, that should let us pop out the fairy dragon, no? Let's see. Huh? Did that not work? During your opponent's turn, when either player takes bat battle damage. Okay, my bad. It won't work like that then, I guess. Not effect damage. Wow, this is incredibly awkward. What am I supposed to do here? Um, the Charmers can summon you Bell. Oh, for real. I can, actually, wait. Yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Under the right conditions. I'm like, it sparked in my head, but I can't, I don't exactly know what, like, sort of line would let them go into you, Bell, but. The fact that you can do that, that's really cool. I like that. Oh, it's Ghost Mourner. With all zero attack. I mean, yeah, I'll just summon it. Maybe we can get ourselves into a lava golem at one point. <laughs> oh, he's got something. Is he a respond to seriously the ghost mourner? The ball things? Yeah, at least I can play ceasefire now. Let's see. Um, they store in the field of special summons. Any deck that lets you allows you to special summon from the hand or the grave is perfect for you, Belt. That makes sense. Does, did you get any more support recently? Now that I think about it, because I still remember it's the 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 trio that you usually run. Oh, look, he's also running Ceasefire. What a shocker! <laughs> oh, and it just deserts too. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, that was dramatic. Attack is all zero. Just take that. <laughs> uh, she did. Plus two more cards. Oh, for real? I'm gonna have to look those up later. Did I help Summoner a bit faster, or are they Link? Are they Link or like Xe cards? I'm kind of curious now. Are they win conditions? You know what? Now that I think about it, when once U Bell is out, I think the third one gets burns um, damage, right? But the um, what is it? The uh. The other ones don't, so I mean, I don't remember if there's a like win condition after that for that. See like that and that. <laughs> We're finally getting somewhere here. Here comes the time, Lord. But wait. No. Okay, so let's see. They're broken. I can see them being broken. Oh, Nibiru, how how great. We we definitely need that right now. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I do want to check 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 those cards out because um, I didn't. I myself didn't play Yu-Bell deck, but I had a friend that did. And it'd be fun to try to get them back into Yu-Gi-Oh that way too. <laughs> this is so silly. The two burn. So this is the second burn we faced. 
coincidentally from the cup while playing burn it could have been any other deck that we had but it had to just also be another burn deck back into your deck with you Did they play? You think? I think this might be a, just a one of play, huh? For that card in particular, you play the rest um, as normal cards, and then yeah, right? I think. <laughs> just, you know what? Let's put you in defense mode. At least. Oh well, actually, they don't take battle damage, do they? From that one card. Uh, her new cards only give you three ways of getting her off the field. Uh, you can either bounce her back, uh, steal her, or tribute her. Interesting. Well, the tribute I can see happening still because there's so many ways to tribute. Like Kaiju's, Nibiru, Lava Golem. But, um... I mean, if you're playing with friends with just rogue decks, I can't see any reason why... You can't play... Like... It would work, I think, in a lot of different cases. I'd imagine, at least. Um, this is really awkward. I, this is just a burn versus burn deck. It's a slow burn deck. A slow burn battle, at least. Oh, no. It's a secret blast. Yeah, I'm dead. That's a lot of cards. <laughs> no. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, who who would have thought we'd run into another burn deck of all things? So it'd be like that. But um, that does give me a few ideas, though. I think I got rid of blast for a reason. Three hundred for each card they control. This is technically better than Secret Barrel, no? Because it's for each card they control. Hmm. Oh yeah, speaking of, let's check out the U book that cards i we're not making dual 20 at this point i don't think so we're gonna we might as well have fun and check a look what's happening here so related cards uh let's see vanishing her or having her miss the timing is non-existent because you can just special summon her for the next following turns that makes sense uh are they hold up aren't we missing a few u bells here Or is they, are these the support cards? I don't think they are, right? Are, are they in Master Duel yet? They might not be, huh? Um, They didn't add them to Master Duel yet. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I figured. Like, not when I when the game first came out, my secret deck that I like playing, some of the cards weren't out yet in Master Duel, and they, it took a little bit for them to get them in there. But I guess that makes, it makes sense. Um, Let's change one more time. Let's do some synchro summoning. Stardust, let's go. So for those coming in and those uh, for you, Subane, particularly because you're new. I think you're new here. Uh, my favorite decks in particular, it, it, obviously the food decks, right? We, we, did, we just talked about that, but um, I also really enjoy Stardust Dragon. Stardust Dragon, Junk, um, Synchro Arrow was my era. Like, I love that time period. So Synchro Summoning is really cool. Black Wings were another one I played. There's a variety. Okay, we can work with this. I think as long as this doesn't get negated, which it probably will, but let's find out. We're going to go for a Junk Synchron. Would have got something in their hand. Might be a... I... Imagine it might be a maxi or an effect bailer. It's something. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, it's tier elements. Okay. And a maxi. That's fun. 
Well, yeah, I guess suppose you could draw all you want this turn. I'm going to be synchroing a lot then, if that's the case. So if I'm facing tier limits, I don't really have any regrets taking my long turns of synchro. But are they going to special summon that negates my synchro summoning? Probably. Does it kick Kalos? So oh, cool, they can play in my turn too. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so let's see. You can target one monster you control, send one, target them into the graveyard. Like, 10 bucks, they have a way to get rid of my, like. Oh, that's a really pretty kid colors, though. They have a way to get rid of, uh. What am I, like, my tutor or something? Oh, wow, look, a card that says activates a card that includes an effect that special summons monsters. That's great. Being negated in the. Uh, have fun. That's a buzzkill. Like, I hate tier... They can play on your turn, too. Like, what? Why? Ah. <laughs> uh, gosh. Is there a way around this? I don't think there is. Because if I just summon my speeder, I'm just going to get negated. Uh, we can try going for the Stardust and making it out then. Let's see. Her vibe is at least once per turn, at least. That's nice, at least, I guess. <laughs> it's so silly. No, no, I can't play anything. There's nothing I can do. Chalements are so fun to play against. <laughs> this is why I was playing Cyber Dragons again earlier, because that's the only thing that I can deal with tier elements that I have. The fact that this goes into two different series too, like, oh my goodness. Reaching to the choir. Yeah, I mean, it's just not fun to play against. I mean, there's you, you can play certain things to stop it, right? It's like, it is what it is, but. Thirty-five hundred. If I, even if I went into the the speeder, actually, you know what? I misplayed. You have to be hand trapped and negate heavy. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole story with tier limits, right? Now I don't get to play my deck, and then they'll just kill me. That's the usual thing. That that is something I'm kind of peeved about that Konami did. That they include so many different negate effects on so many different cards like it's ridiculous <laughs> actually I did misplay that though I could have still went into speeder because most people actually affect that uh, not affect they actually forget that speeder has a secondary effect I could have just decided not to synchro and then um I could have attacked it with Speeder because Speeder has an ability where um, when an attack is declared involving this card that was Synchro Summon this turn, I could double its attack. So it would have been 36. It would have actually been able to get over the Rukalo still. So that was actually still a misplay on my part, but it's not a situation that pops up very often with Speeder. I, because most of the time you don't get everything negated from your hand, right? <laughs> we'll get him next time. Yeah, I hope so. It's okay, we have a Brotar, I guess. <laughs> Special summon it. We'll just annoy them as much as possible at this point. Oh, look, you can negate it again. 
Like, of all the things they could have done to tier elements, why would they include an effect that lets them play on your turn? That's so silly. They literally got a whole fusion and a negate out during turn one. Why? <laughs> oh, Synchron Carrier, that's useful now. I mean, she's just going to negate it. That's easy, see waifus. I guess. See waifus are cool. Oh, look, it's three trap cards that still uh, negate everything I do. Dino Morphia, that's cool. Okay, I'll admit that card looks kind of cool. <laughs> we all love seafoos. Seafoos are nice. This is true. They are cute. I'll give them that. Oh, that one's kind of hot looking. What the heck? What happened? Dragon girl? Dragon dinosaur girl? Um. Well, she did let me get the Synchron out. That'd be nice if they self-destructed to death. That'd be great. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just had one card in my deck that says deal 2,000 damage to your opponent? <laughs> That'd be so nice. Let me think. So we can actually... We can tune up here. The Illumination's not going to help very much because... Yeah, it's not going to help very much in this case. We'll just do an Arrive on Light. Hey, Arrive on Light. Yay. You have, like, another three cards to negate it? No? Okay. That's nice of you. <laughs> we have Summon Synchron Carrier. Just going to Chartus. Stardust Charge. Why not? Synchro summon as much as we can before we die. Wow, a max C2. Must be nice. <laughs> There's like no downside of them playing. Like playing. Any, they, they just get their entire hand back. We were talking earlier with Subi that like, like um, there are certain ways to stop them, even if they're like banned. They have certain bans, but like, like yeah, what what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> they just negate everything. It's not fun. Let's go, Wheel Synchron. Decrease you by like five levels or something, four levels. <laughs> I did it. That's okay. Ooh, sorry, that was kind of loud. My bad. That actually hurt my own ears. <laughs> That's okay though. Now that we know, we have to remember some of our effects sometimes. Like the speeder, we actually could have gotten around it with with speeder. So. Actually, wait, no. No, I'm incorrect. We couldn't have done it. We couldn't have done speeder because that was turn one. That was turn one. We couldn't attack, so. Wow, there's a way around it, too. <laughs> Two elements. They can play on your turn and negate everything. How fun. <laughs> the salt. The salt is coming through. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put it in the kitchen. Okay, that's fine. I mean, okay, I get it. Like, I mentioned this last time, too, but, like, at at this level of Duelist Cup, I, just, I, I guess everyone's trying to win, right? So they're just going to play whatever top-tier deck they have. So, uh, they win. 
I don't know. It kind of stifles the creativity of Dex, though. Like, for, for real, there's a dude out there playing stun Exodia, and that works, right? Like, they, they, if you keep playing top-tier decks, you're never going to find another deck that, you know, you like and actually enjoy playing and have fun with, like, your friends. Or, I don't know, maybe you will, you do have fun with your friends by negating everything they play. Is it seasoned salt? I think it's seasoned. It's a little salty. What do Quokka tears taste like? Well, let's see. They're coming from Australia. I suppose... Let's see. Yes, it would taste like fish and chips. <laughs> For some reason, that's the first Australian food I could think of immediately. Yeah, our salt tastes like fish and chips. <laughs> Wait, is this turn two? They didn't play anything? What happened? That's sus as heck. Did they accidentally skip their turn? Or do they have like a whole hand of hand traps? I I believe that one a bit more than... <laughs> well, we'll see. On your mark, get set, duel. They're, they're gonna probably negate this. Let's see, if you know, we're gonna send it to your graveyard. Let's see, until the any... Uh, at the end of your next turn, any card sent to the graveyard is banished and said. Okay, so I mean, that's not entirely bad. Let me think. If I synchro summon, do I need to special summon anything back from the graveyard to get to Majestic? Should we just go for it anyways? Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it. They probably have another way of stopping everything. Let's see. Oh, Imperm. Awesome. Yeah, that checks. Okay, I guess on my turn. <laughs> this guy's playing stun, I guess. Okay, if he happens to destroy the carrier, I can summon it with Junk Synchro, at least. Yikes. Yeah, it's a bit of a yikes, but it's fine. Oh, Stardust Trail? Wow, we're using the same deck? Okay, we're using the same deck, kinda. Now I have a bit more respect, but I'm gonna also ash that, because I don't want you to add your card to your hand. <laughs> get Ash the nerd. <laughs> no. Yeah, get Ash nerd. Okay, he got my he got my carrier at least, but Oh wait, he got banished? Why did he get banished? Does that still count? Until the end of the next turn. Does that count as mine? Oh, okay. I didn't really think about that. I thought it was the end of the, tur the turn. Okay, that's kind of an issue. Our carrier. No. Um. I have tuners. <laughs> They're all tuners. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay. Um. Mm, okay, we're gonna just play Riven Light. We're gonna add another tuner to the top, but that will at least let us go into a different um That'll let us go into a different half, I guess. Because the that specific card that gets drawn, we can special summon that and another dragon. And it's level one. We can we can tune for two. Or if we're lucky and we have the right cards, we can tune for more. Droll unlock. Wow. Just really must hate people playing cards, I guess. <laughs> oh, junk speed. Here we go. Uh, 
Let's draw our card. Okay, so this is really weird though. Is this not weird? We're playing the same exact deck as someone else now. Again. We had two burn decks when we were playing burn. We were playing synchro with another synchro deck. With the same exact cards. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh would be playing. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. What is this? <laughs> How dare you copy my deck and make it better? Oh, look, it's Star Dragon. I'll special some two, I suppose. Let's put Revolution in the graveyard. Okay, well, if this goes anything like my deck, it should go into like a Quasar and like a Blazar. Cosmic Quasar, Stardust, and maybe even a Baron somewhere in there. <laughs> so I think we're dead. Well, let's see how they play it. We'll see. There's the Charge Warrior. Yeah, you know what? This is going to take too long. Let's just surrender. <laughs> this is going to take way too long. I already know how this goes. It's the same deck. <laughs> Give us a bit more variety. Okay, let's do one more or two more with uh, our Cyber Dragons again. Oh, not that one. Okay. We'll get the next one. I like your enthusiasm. I appreciate it, UV. We're going to do it. Oh, lose and level down. That's great. <laughs> so you can lose duelist levels. That's fun. Well, let's see. Some things can't be helped, especially if in 30 minutes, the event ends and we can't get to stage two. So let's, you know what? It's what it is at the moment. Not too concerned. Our first hand doesn't look too bad. What is that? Oh, it's, um, it's a Slia. The Alp ass. Okay, so let's see. Let them, we'll just let them cook. See what they get. The nice thing about the Cyber Dragons, I will admit, that I really, really like is that most of the time, if we happen to get a clockwork out, that ends up with them, uh... Ends up with them giving me their monsters, which is nice. Oh, uh, here comes a Polly. He's gonna make the the crystal lizard. I believe it. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna from that. The crystal lizard. That is, it is a crystal lizard. <laughs> it is a really cool crystal lizard. I'll, I'll admit. Why not? We'll just best summon it too while we're at it. Just make Orochi. Okay, so what can we do here? I think we could just drop the core here. Oh, 
Okay. I right, beat him up. And hopefully win next turn. If not, then, well, that's what it is. <laughs> Based. Honestly, I probably... I'm, I'm not thinking. I probably shouldn't have put the core in there, but... If anything happens, and my whole field gets wiped, I can at least bring back a Cyber Dragon. In hindsight, though, I could have done that the opposite way and added something to my hand, so... Oh, he tuned with mine, too! Rude! This Lubellion. Oh, Crystal Lizard jump scare. Indeed. I don't need to summon Orochi yet right now. <laughs> crystal Lizard jump scare. It is a Crystal Lizard jump scare. Again, it's it's kind of the issue where I still don't really know what to negate if I am. I think what I negated last turn was still good. It's just like many decks right now, they have many ways to get out of things, so. I don't think he can kill me. Oh, he might be able to kill me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to put this up at least as a wall. I'm not too happy about dropping everything, but... Crystal Lizard! <laughs> it is Crystal Lizard! We don't like the Crystal Lizard here. We're going to put one in defense just in case he does have lethal and blows up everything. Okay, sweet. He, he shouldn't be able to kill me. Now the second problem becomes... Does he have a negate if I try to lightning blast them? I don't think he does. Ooh, the duster. Okay, so here's the problem. If I want to activate this, they have to, only they have to control a monster, but that means I can't lightning storm. Um... I, I think I have to. I don't have a choice. At least that gets rid of that. And then if he does activate, yeah, there you go. I can triple tactics. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to draw two. You can have your cards. Okay, there we go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it was the right play. Woohoo! Okay, sweet. Yeah, this I, I like the Cyber Dragon deck a lot. I'm I'm glad I could still play Cyber Dragons, honestly. The la the other things I would love to play still, we did it. We got a win. I think the whole time you were here, it's been losses, huh? Sorry about that. <laughs> here, let's do one more. We still we still got like 30 minutes until the period ends. We'll see if we can get one more level. Um, we did it. The other thing I do want to play. Which I have almost no cards of, which would mean that it would, like, I'd have to craft a lot, would be Crystal Beasts. Like, the advanced Crystal Beasts. I know they got the advanced cards recently, so I want to see how they work. Same thing with Gate Guardian. That they got new support as well. I mean, it won't be nearly as fast as what we're playing, but you know. Oh, they're they disconnecting. Hope they're okay. But yeah, we did it. <laughs> GB, if you're ever interested, by the way, usually um, we do have nights where we just play chat, like Quack the Quackling Squad. So if you're interested, and I am streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! at some point again, um, please pop on by again. I would love to have you uh, ha have a duel with you two if you're interested. Ooh, trap trips. Okay. Is that worth imperming? I guess it is. Let's do it. Uh, Aroma has new support as well. I actually also like Aromas. So... I didn't know that, actually. That's good to hear. I actually faced an Aroma deck earlier when I was playing 
more like hodgepodge decks, not really more focused decks like this. And um, they were good. They gained so many life points and I got everything wiped out from my field, so. Ooh, Link one to Sarah. You bet? Yeah, let's go, buddy. More friends to do are nice. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is happening? Parallel X seed. Uh oh. Limited to two. I mean, that makes sense. These This effect seems pretty nice. Look, these are clearly, clearly machine type, right? Not cybers. What the heck is the cybers? <laughs> Give me the machine types. I want to take them. Let's see, so from here... Yeah, I figured they're gonna probably Link or Exceed here. Go figure an Exceed card. Oh, Trap Tricks again. I know they focus on traps, but I don't actually know how they entirely work. Get out of trap tricks monster. So I actually don't know how I'm gonna play against this deck because I don't exactly know what they all do. I imagine these are all like trap holes, because I think that was the whole their whole stick, right? We need to get that exceed off the field. Okay, we can take a look into that. The void trap hole makes sense. Uh 2000 more attack, negate the effects. And then destroy it. So here's the thing. Do we bait them? Or do we... I was kind of hoping they'd put the... Pin... Pingu uh, Pinguicula on the... Um, extra slot. Let's try baiting them. They're not gonna probably let me search with three holes, I imagine. Oh, anti-spell fragrance. Oh no. Okay, that's a problem too. I play lots of spells. Uh what is this now? Another trap tricks. They'll get a special summon in defense. So the only problem right now is the void, I think. Now we can't play these cards, but it's um there's worse things, I suppose. A normal trap is activated, special summon, a trap tricks. Okay. Well, gee, a clockwork knight would be pretty nice right now. Story of my life. Um. So if I special this, though, they're going to just negate and then destroy it. Do I bait them with the Mega Fleet? I guess I do. Now, they're probably going to void it. If they don't void it, then they saw through my plan. <laughs> if they do void it, that's better for us, because then I can Dino into it and then get rid of this, maybe. Maybe. The big if if they decide to void it. Yep, they're voiding it. Okay. Okay, I think we baited it, so it should be... Okay. Now, the, this, the second problem becomes... Um... Do I... if Do I pop the dino for the anti-spell fragrance or the... Ingekula... Ooh, this is tricky. Oh wait, it's my battle phase though. Hold up. While this card's material is unaffected by trap effects and activated effects. 
It detach. I can't. I just straight up attack it first. Am I an idiot? I might be an idiot. Ha! It worked. Okay, we're actually okay. Hold up. <laughs> I thought for sure there'd be some sort of trap here involving that. Okay, now we can use this to get rid of the anti spell. Oh, it's big brain time. <laughs> so this we're going to add... Do we have another Cyber Dragon? No, this wouldn't work for that. Okay, that's fine. So let's just add a core to our hand. He's cooking! <laughs> I can use my brain sometimes. Don't worry about it. Um, we can't use the secondary. We can't use core again, so we'll just keep this, the rev system and the core in our hand. <laughs> He's cooking! I'm cooking, friends! <laughs> sometimes the most obvious answer is right there and you just don't think about it though, right? Like, wait a minute, I'm 100 attack higher than you. I just... Can't I just run into that? <laughs> okay, now here comes all the traps again, though. Let's see. Ooh, there's the garden. Your normal summon a trap tricks in addition to the other normal. The first time... Oh, great. Okay, that's annoying. Um, you banish one monster you control. That's kind of gross. Not gonna lie. It's a lot of summoning. And it's back. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not cooking anymore, guys. I'm not cooking. Okay, what happens next is really dependent on what we draw. And Sarah's back. The Mega Fleet, unfortunately, is in our graveyard, too. I think... Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything's happening. I don't like you. <laughs> everything has, like, once you have one card on the field, everything happens. Like, every single deck um, in this tier has been like that. You leave one alive, and then all of them start <laughs> happening. No! Okay, so let me think. He's probably going to run into the Cyber Dragon. That's going to get... Oh, he's not going to run into it. But Why? Ooh, machine dupe. Okay. Um. I don't know what that trap is. That's a big problem. We're gonna try to search, but I don't think they're gonna let it happen. Oh, they're gonna have a special summon. Okay. That we can deal with. We're going to get the repair plants so we can put the the mega fleet back, I think. Okay, so what we need to do here... At least it's not trap hole. This is true. If it was a trap hole, I might have cried. <laughs> uh, we can dupe these into two cybers. And that's going to at least get us infinity. And that's going to be nice. Um, my turn. Let's see. Let's do the repair plan. Oh, wait. No, that's not how that works. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> I played that wrong. Oh, no. Okay, we'll still get infinity. Um... Let's take their trap tricks.
Okay, I don't know if I misplayed that a bit. I might, I probably did. But this should be fine for now. Get rid of this as soon as possible. And, uh... I might as well Zeus them, right? And let's not give them back their uh, Patrick's chest yet. There we go. That's a little cleaner looking. Okay. It's kind of rare I get to go into Zeus, actually. That's kind of neat. GG. I hope it's GG. They can still play, I'm sure. They have three cards in their hand, but... Yeah, see? Another Pudica. Here comes the whole shebang again. They might be able to still pull something off. Depending on when I use this, though. Yeah, we could just clear his board on his turn, but... I don't know his the extent of his hand, though, is the problem. So like that, I probably want to... Yeah, return everything back now. I refuse to give back your trap tricks. <laughs> okay. So now it might be okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so funny enough, I don't actually use Zeus that often. Like I to know like when to use him. So I'm glad I kind of figured it out that time. <laughs> I'll take it. I like it when the plan, plan comes together. Me too. It's really nice <laughs> when it does. Um, seven fifty nine, seventeen minutes. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing until seventeen minutes from now, when the event ends, or at least <gasps> we can get a dual level. Okay, maybe we might be able to scrounge one more dual level, get some gems, and finish up. Here's hoping. Oh, they were going second too. That's good. We'll take it. But yeah, Zubi, uh, straight up, like, if you want to play sometime, like, on a different stream, uh, get your decks ready. I'd love to play. I, I want to see your U-Bell. Like, it's very rare that I get to see another U-Bell. I'm not going to play, like, like, normally when I play with chat or um, the Quackling squad, I usually just play, like, Rogue or not even Rogue, like, really low tier decks just to have fun with them. So I, I would love to see yours and just see how... Well, it does. I'm not gonna like unless I they tell me straight up they're gonna play a pretty strong deck. I'll probably in that case I'll maybe play like Cyber Dragon because that's the strongest thing I have. I think. Uh, I only have Charmers and Orcus. So that's fine though. Charmers are cool. That also includes your U Bell. Last I checked, and um, Orcus I've only ever played once, so I don't exactly know what they do. So maybe this could, that could be a learning lesson for me too. It's been hard trying to build anything else. Ain't that the truth? I've used all my like freebie gems when I first started for like other different decks that I thought I'd keep playing. But when I came back to play this game, like all my gems are gone. All the cards I want to play are not so good anymore. Like my Thunder Dragons, the Thunder Dragons, um, <clears throat> they bet they got a few cards banned in the OCG, so I can't exactly use them anymore. So I think I might dismantle them too. Ooh, hello. What are they cooking in the back row though? We'll I'll find out. <clears throat> it's probably something they're about to play though. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, nothing. Okay, sweet. I will take that. Um, do we just summon core then? Is he gonna max? Okay. I don't mind the max. That is okay. We can maybe deal with that. 
I don't think we're gonna special summon that much this turn either, so. Add a cyber emergency. Might as well use a thrust too. I don't know what he's playing yet is the problem, so I might just bring the imperm. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the dupe. We have a master just in case, and we can play Clockwork Knight here. And cyber emergency into another core. There we go. So now we have a hand to play with. Um. Yeah, battle phase. <laughs> I'll just do 900 to you. Let's go. Oh, Dustin, welcome back to the stream. How's it going, my dude? Isn't it actually, isn't it Monday for you at the moment? Either way, welcome back to the stream. I can play with my sulfa chords if you want. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so Dustin, actually, funny thing. I was actually, I was streaming from a bit earlier today. Um, so I'm actually going to finish up once this event is over, which is in 14, 13, 13 more minutes. So um, I am at work at home, though. Oh, that's cool. Noise. That is good stuff. Oh, 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 my God. What is happening? Oh, it's the Brandeds. They're back. Um, no worries. Well, I, you know what? I was talking to um, chat and Z Zuby here in particular because he's been chatting with me this entire stream. Um, I'm just playing the event myself. Yeah, I feel ya. Oh no, wait, there's more stuff. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> if he destroys my Clockwork Knight, that's gonna be really disappointing. Let's see what he comes up with, though. So, I was saying, though. Hey, it's your favorite crystal lizard, uh, UB. Okay, so, what, yeah, what I was saying was that, um, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully we can get um, a Quackling chat uh, dual room set up sometime soon. And we can see about um, playing games together. That'd be kind of fun, right? So we'll check it out. Now, I'll, I'll, I think I'll schedule that somewhere later this next this next coming week. So keep your eyes out for it if you haven't already. If, Zuby, you're new. So um, I do have a Twitter, Insta, and TikTok too. Um, you, I usually post on the... Uh, Twitter when I'm gonna stream and which game so I if you would like check that out and you can get an announcement of when the next Yu-Gi-Oh streams are uh, Mira Jade the bane of my existence a ain't that the truth Mira Jade is that <laughs> but I think we can we can get around this maybe we're gonna bait him out first with the cyber dragon we'll see if he does anything in reaction to the cyber dragon and then we will, uh, we'll see from there. I don't have Twitter anymore. Too much drama and negativity. I can understand that. And I appreciate your honesty. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, don't worry. If anything, um, during the weekends, I stream around the same time, like in the middle of the day. And on uh, weekdays, I work pretty late. So I usually, um, I usually have, uh, a late night stream usually like maybe three hours from now what was that red reboot yeah i think we're safe let's see oh nothing's happening all your mon all your monsters are mine let's see uh just finishing my class that'd be cool but would it be like with fun decks so everybody can play yeah so i think the idea would be we just play decks that are fun and rogue, not exactly top tier. If you're if you're gonna play top tier decks, I would say like maybe let the other player know ahead of time so that they can prepare something as well. Or we can we can mix mix it up as well. Um, I well if it's against me, I can change it up, right? So that's fine. Um, I'll take the rev system. Oh, I'm boosted! I'm boosted because of the <laughs> the clockwork that I forgot. Oh, that's awk. Okay, that's fine. We we have another way. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nanashi doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> Nanashi cooks. Okay, let's see. Go. Yeah, we made one more level before the <laughs> event ended. Um, 
let's see i just use twitter to participate in game promotions and stuff uh i could use blue eyes the dark magician brick guys is fun yeah play anything you really want i think it's just fun i think what we'll do is we'll have you guys play against me and we'll you can declare like what you're gonna play or like what tier you think the deck would be and i can just adjust accordingly you know so that's fine easy dub boys clapped let's go 17 we made one more level before nine minutes from now when the event ends we can still you know what let's keep going we still have nine minutes <laughs> i'm i'm happy we at least hit 17 what is that a gem with a cat in it that's crazy mirror jade though oh dude the crystal lizard is so annoying to deal with but we had a way around it this time so you know what i'm quite happy with that but yeah, if you're all interested, we'll do a... I'll, I'll post it on the channel here as an announcement and also on Twitter. Then when we'll do a... Like a um, audience duel sesh. That'd be fun. Um, ooh, what do I want to do here? I don't usually go first. This is kind of off. Let's get the Gizmek out. Okay, we'll trade this out. Mm. That hurts. It's nice for now. We'll just make it five. Why not? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I should have set the Imperm. I have a monster on my field. No. Okay. Well, this is fine. Uh, Let's see. I have to go have a blessed night, you guys. You too, Subi. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had a fun time. And um, I hope I'll see you again on the stream. Let's play sometime. It'll be fun. Um... Ensign so uh, Soroko, welcome to the stream. Hello, I'm David. Hey, David. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the stream. My name is Nanashi. I'm a Quackling chef and um, a Quackling chef. I'm a Quacka chef. <laughs> you guys are the Quacklings. And uh, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh today. Well, th we're at the butt end of playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I suppose. Oh. Oh, he kaijued my my hurts. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'll have to go prepare for my stream. Good luck and sure, I'll try to participate in it. I'm sub, so I'll keep an eye for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for subbing. Um, it really helps the channel, by the way. So I thank you, anyone who's subbing. Really, really, really appreciate it. Is that a Numer on deck? Oh, no. Ah, uh, I'm dead, aren't I? He's just going to straight attack, isn't he? <laughs> uh, good luck with your stream today, Crow. I hope everything goes well. I'll try to pop in if I have the chance. I do have a bit of work after this, but I'm um, assuming that there's time and then you stream late enough. Hopefully I can check it out as well. Uh-oh, new bronze. Here comes the fat attacks. I think I'm dead, aren't I? If he gets these through. Yeah, that's 8,000. That's a, it's been a while since I've been numeroned. Uh, will this work? Let's find out. Would it go to zero? Nope, it doesn't go to zero. <laughs> it, yeah, that's what I figured. That's okay. It happens. Well, it'd be like that. Well, we still have six minutes, y'all. So we're still going to keep going until it's done done. But yeah. Henson, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Nah, I'd break. That's a good name. Uh, if you do, what's your favorite deck? And everyone come in and actually. Dustin, I know you also play. Did I ask you last time? I'd like to know what your favorite um, deck is as well. Straight up, though. Next time, Dustin, I'm, I'm visiting you. I'm going to have to bring my deck. <laughs> now that I finally have at least the Synchron deck in real life. I could probably make the cyber deck pretty easily in real life too, so we'll have to see. Uh, my fave deck changes a lot. That's fair. There's a lot of cards coming out, so I imagine like it, it can rotate. Right now it's my sulfur cords. Ooh, noise. Before it was vampires. Ooh. I can't say I've ever faced a vampire deck. Are, are they mostly like retrieve from graveyard kind of things? That's what I imagine they'd be this sign it Ooh, cybers deck math mech cybers okay we could deal with that i think we'll see 
yeah like so the vampires i'm thinking of are like really old school cards i don't recall there being newer ones that i remember off the top of my head i have to look on the database later too let's see yeah uh, revive your opponent's monsters after you kill them oh okay i see that is pretty neat kind of reminds me of what was that one synchro card it was a uh, ah, what was it? It was level six Earth Synchro. Goyo. It reminds me of Goyo. Goyo Guardian. You just take their monsters after you destroy them. Pretty neat. Oh, he's cooking something. What did he got? Another pre Prime Attack. Prime Attack. Prime Attack. Oh, Pri. Prime math tech. Uh, wait, prime math. <laughs> Why can't I read this? Prime. Wait. Oh no, it's not prime. Pre math mech. Pre math mech. There you go. I can read. <laughs> what are these names? Pre math mech. Alem. Version. Alem version. Huh. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Revive your opponent's mouse after you kill them, then overlay them regardless of level into your exceeds. Oh, that's kind of cool. Does the vampires let you kind of change the level so you can kind of choose whatever you like? That's kind of cool, too. Uh, I was playing Prediction Princess for a while, too, and that stun lock was brutal. It got set up. Ah, stuns. Yeah. Prediction Princess, I've only run into once on Master Duel, and they seem pretty fun. Um, Can be brutal, though, for sure. The, the secret deck that I keep mentioning on this channel, that it's... Um, actually, I, I think I explained that story to you, Dustin, that I'm not going to reveal the deck until certain conditions are met, right? <laughs> I hope I hit, I hit those conditions. That'd be kind of fun. But um, in reality, that deck, the secret deck is kind of like a stun. Actually, no, I, I wouldn't call it a stun. Now that I think about it a bit more, it's more like a... It's a re reactive deck, I guess. I forget, so don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but yeah um there is there's i do want to play it one day i don't know if i'm going to play it on this channel anytime soon though we'll see luckily i have enough decks to keep me busy here right now but burn the cyber and um a stardust deck and that's going to keep me pretty busy for a while i think I have Thunder Dragon parts still, but I don't think I have enough parts to make them good again. Oh, is this the Firewall Dragon? I think it's Firewall. It's Firewall. Okay. Uh, Does this negate anything? I don't think it does, right? It's just really beefy. Let's see. If you're talking about Prediction Princess, it's, I would not wreck. It's too expensive for what it is. Ah. Uh, I can understand that. No, actually, I was talking about um my own deck, but yeah, I I, I know about prediction princesses though. I played it once. Um, I I just roughly know about them, but I do remember it is pretty expensive to play. Uh oh, another crystal heart. Did I play this guy before? This is the same exact math mech deck I was playing earlier, I think. Luckily, this is turn one. You guys are going to have to tell me, though. Are there any negates here that I have to worry about? I don't think there are, but... Oh, Heat Soul. Draw a card. Ooh, some set cards. I'm going to Lightning Storm the set cards, I think. Ooh, Cyber Dragon. Nice. Okay. We have Clockwork Knights, too, so this is going to be pretty nice if it goes through. First off, get rid of the back row. I don't think there's any negates here, right? Just on the board. As far as I can tell. Oh, there's one on the graveyard. Good thing we, t we tested it first. What was it? It was a... Uh... Cyber's Deep Storm. 
Is there another one in there? I hope there isn't another in the grave that I don't need to worry about. Or that I have to worry about, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's test the waters again. Cyber Dragon. Target. Math Max and Special Summon and then Exceed. Wow. Okay. Kind of nice. I'll have to say. Okay. Do we have a way around this? I think we do, though. Even if he Special Summons and Exceeds with them. Okay, Prime Mac. The. Oh, thank goodness. If we got the other Cyber Dragon, that would have been an issue. Okay, another one. Okay, Clockwork Knight it. I think he still has a lot of options, though, it seems. It's kind of gross. Oh, he can negate the Clockwork Knight. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let's banish this and take. If I have it, it correct in my head. We'll see if this adds anything correct, but we'll see. Wait, that that, that came out weird. <laughs> oh, of course you have an ash. Classic. Okay. Well, that's fine. There are worse things that have happened, I suppose. That's fine, we could get a Mega Fleet. Three, then choose that many effects. Yeah, we have to get rid of the... the Prima Math Tech. Oh, great. Back Baylor. That seems fun. <laughs> Must be nice to have all the answers in your hand after drawing like 50 cards. Okay, well, that's that, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. At least their attacks are a bit decreased. They're probably going to pull their whole deck out of their... Uh, out of their field at this moment, though. We'll see. How many things did they get? They negated my lightning storm. They negated my cyber dragon. <laughs> they, did, they negated everything. Sometimes it just be like that. It's true. See, the, th the thing is, though, like, how does anyone get any sort of consistency in, like, in, like, actual YCS matches, right? Oh, you know what? Actually, I suppose, though, that... I suppose in YCS, you can, you're actually allowed to side deck, so I guess that's what makes it a bit different. You can't side deck in Master Duel, so... It, it do be what it is. <laughs> it's okay, though. I mean, we made we made it to rank 17 um, over the course of a few days, so we... I think we're we're in a good spot. We got some gems out of it. We didn't get to stage two, but that's okay. We'll aim for that next time, you know? And it's Axis Code Talker. Man. 
Some effects are just too good. <laughs> Especially if you have the right deck for it. His name is Nah I'd Brick, but you you, you barely bricked this entire match. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait, we're still alive. Pog. Okay. Well, maybe we can pull something out. We'll see. Triple tactics. I can't use this unless he uses something. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I bricked. Okay, well, let's see. Let's clockwork and see. I don't think I got anything here that will help, but... Not Regulus. We can try destroying it, but I'm pretty sure he just straight up destroys my monster once it comes out. Wow, Max C too. Must be nice. Sometimes it just be like that. It he has all the right answers. Put this here. Oh, I missed... Wait, did I misplay? No, I didn't misplay. I, I was gonna say to myself, maybe I could have um, equipped the Cyber Dragon and then gone into something else, but I don't think that would have been the case. Yeah, I don't think that would have been the case in this situation. That's okay. It'd be like that. You can take this win, Brick. <laughs> Do it. But I'm, you know what? Ever since I got back into Yu Gi Oh! recently, I've been really enjoying playing and seeing what kind of decks are out there, so. I'm quite happy with how this ended up. a long time to kill me <laughs> we're just waiting here like okay just do it i like have my eyes closed like hands out t posing like do it kill me and it, i'm just like waiting like huh this <laughs> is taking way too long <laughs> you trying to finish a quest or something is that what is happening maybe Into the Shadow Realm we go. Oh well. That was fun though. We got pretty far. I'm happy with how we ended up here. Oh. Huh? Is this still open? 3, 24, 7. I guess it's still open? That doesn't make sense though. Maybe it's a different time zone we're working with here. <laughs> That's okay, though. It do really be sometimes just like that, though. And you know what? It's part of the fun in Yu-Gi-Oh! too, I suppose. You know? I think it's open for another hour. Or is that right? Well, I was... I do have to get to work on stuff outside of stream. So I think, unfortunately, this is where we end up. But you know what? We got pretty far. We got pretty far considering... It's really quickly done. And 17. So, I mean, if we really worked at it the next time around, I think we could actually hit max. That'd be kind of fun to try for. But, um, yeah. I guess that will be it for today. You know what? Let's redeem everything we can. I think we can get some packs. We might as well open them if we have the tickets for them. I think it was... This one? Yeah, we got eight packs. Let's see what we get. Ooh, there's a rainbow one in there. I'll take it. Oh, two rainbow ones? Oh, nice. <laughs> that reminded me of like Hearthstone's like opening for a second there. Oh, super rare. Oh, what do we got? Clashing Souls. 
Is that Red Dragon Archfiend and Junk Warrior? Oh, I like these cards. Okay, well, let's see. During damage calculation, if your attack position monster with attacks on one other one of higher, you can pay 500 life points for that to gain 500, then keep repeating until a player chooses not to pay life points. That's kind of cool. Then neither player takes any damage. Okay. I mean, that's kind of neat. Uh, God Duel. Sorry for negating it all. No, it's okay. Were you? Did we just play just now? That's okay, Miguel. I appreciate the duel. It was fun. Um, it sometimes be like that. You had the right card for everything, and then you know that's just how it is sometimes. We were just saying it just now too. So, don't worry. Fun duel though. Good duel. If that was you. If it wasn't you, I mean, I still appreciate it. Thank you for the sympathies. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day as well, Miguel. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Oh, another rainbow one. Okay, let's see what we get here. What we get? Oh, another Clashing Souls. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I do like me my 5Ds. Gazelle. I wonder if they ever will ever make support for their... The King of the Mystical Beasts. I think they did eventually at one point, didn't they? Okay, so I think that will do it. Okay, so yeah. I think this is where we'll cut it for today. Um, for the rest of this week, I have a bit planned. I did want to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! again, especially since you all have uh, some interest in dueling me on stream. So we can figure that out. Um, perhaps maybe a Friday. Maybe a Friday at some point, uh, since everyone will be off work, it will have to be later in the evening, but, um, we can have a dual sesh then. That'd be kind of fun. I'll, I'll check into it. Um, nice dual for my English. It's so bad. It's okay. No problem. I, I appreciate people trying to, um, practice their language skills too. Uh, me too. Like me too, actually. I'm trying to keep my Japanese brushed up. Watashi mo nihongo hanashimasu. Um, I speak Indonesian as well. Bisa mong sedikit bahasa Indonesia. That that probably came out really wrong, but um, keep practicing. It's it's good practice, you know. I appreciate you trying to talk to me in my uh, native language. Uh, let's see what else. So Friday we can see about doing a a quackling chat um Yu Gi Oh session. That'd be kind of fun to do all together. During the week, I think I'm going to do some new things. Uh, Minecraft being one of them. I've always wanted to stream Minecraft with uh, you guys and potentially some friends. So hopefully we can get that going as well. Some more Zomboids. Um, and as always, if you have any games you'd like me to try playing on stream, please let me know. I'll definitely take a look into it and see if we can pop it into the schedule sometime. Um, there is a game I got from a developer recently from when I played them in League uh, out of all things and they said they would love us to play it at some point it's like a platformer looking game it's cute uh, I'll see if we can pop that into the queue as well I need to let them know about it too but my only contact with them is through that League match so <laughs> and I think I friended them so we'll see uh, League in itself I think I'm going to take a break from I tried to climb again from Emerald, and unfortunately, they changed the LP system. So I have actually demoted quite a bit to P3 again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get myself back into Emerald first before we start streaming again. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate. But you know what? A good break from League is good too. So I don't really mind it too much. Um. With Final Fantasy XIV coming out pretty soon, the new expansion, I might make an alternate character and stream some of that as well. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, for now, though, um, those starting your week in Japan, overseas, and for those about to start the week after tonight, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, the next stream, I believe, will probably be Tuesday, unless Monday really works out. I don't think it will, but usually it doesn't, so... We'll aim for Tuesday. And um, yeah, eat well, stay healthy, do your best. Gambare. I will see you all Tuesday evening. This is Nanashi, your favorite Quokka chef, clocking out. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for popping by, everyone, Quokkalings and all. 
Good night. お疲れ。ごめんなさい。